hello everyone welcome back to my little channel i hope you guys are having an amazing day um if you guys are new here please subscribe and leave me a little comment on what you guys thought about the nails also don't forget to check out my online store zule nail shop um the link's going to be in the description for all the products that i'm using Fucking sizes we is, honey. I'm probably gonna be a zero. Hello, guys. Welcome. Welcome today. We're gonna do some curb news, bitch. Oh, Lord. Hi, guys. Welcome. Uh, actually, <laughs> my thumb is too big, bitch. Oh my lord, Becky. Hi guys, welcome. Let me find my nails. I put rubber base gel on my nails. Dude, my thumb is too big. Oh well, yeah, we we gonna work with what we got. <laughs> okay, so today we're gonna do curved nails. And this is the zero. Look, honey. What the fuck? That's like putting a fucking size small on myself. Bitch, that's terrible words. What? What? I love to say bitch. Bitch, bitch, bitch. <clears throat> okay. I hope we have enough. You cuss too much, girl. If you don't like the cussing, you can go. I love to say bad words, especially when I know people don't like them. I'm going to say it even more. So, honey, you don't like me saying bad words? Then get the fuck out because that's what we do here. I'm sorry. It's just a part of Zule. Hello, guys. Welcome. Girl, bang. Girl, bang. Again, I'm not for everybody, and that's totally fine. So, I'm a number three in these for my index. Is your class book? Um, no, you have time. If you guys still want to sign up for my online class, you have until the 11th, February 11th, um, to sign up. It is going to be online. So, I'm, I have, um, I don't have like a, uh, specific amount of people I'm accepting. Just whoever signs up, signs up. Why do people try to police what others say? Because they want attention. That's what they want, to be honest. So I give them a little attention so they could leave. You took off your senora nails? Yes, I hated them. So I didn't soak them. What the hell? These are too small. I didn't soak them. I just shaved them down. What color did you choose? Well, I asked YouTube, what color should I do next? What color did they want to see next? And they chose orange. So we're going to do orange. I did let my Instagram choose. Damn, bitch. I did let my Instagram choose a shape. I was between square, curved, or stiletto curved. So <clears throat> y'all said you want me to do squeeze. I bought some stuff from you the other day and I got the email. They come in. Yes, girl. So if you guys have if you guys purchase during the weekend, um your order will be shipped soon. Please don't be alarmed that like where is my order? So I guess for these the nail tips run smaller ish. I don't know. They're supposed to be like full wells. Or maybe I just have some big ass fingers, bitch. Because, girl, these numbers. Mm, 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 mm. Honey. 
I, every time I access the emojis, I get kicked out. What? Hello, everyone. Welcome. Hi, my right nut. Did you come out of work already? All right. So let me show you guys. I'm going to have to glue my nail like right there because, honey, I have a big finger. So normally, I don't glue on too much nail. But today, it doesn't matter because it's just for show. I have rubber base a rubber base um on my nails to protect them fuck i have a rubber base layer on my nails just in case you guys see my nails kind of shiny that's what it is actually before i glue the tips on i should probably file it a little bit so that they could stick fast because when they're kind of like shiny no se, no se pegan do layer beds are so perfect. Uh, thank you. They're huge. I mean, in a way, it's good, right? So to protect my nails from getting like super damaged, because people always be like, how do you do it? You always change up your nails. It's because I soak my nails. I soak them. I don't rip them off. And then what I've been doing lately is I just shave down my acrylic. So you guys could see I still have acrylic down there. Like you guys can see all the little layers of the acrylics I've been doing, even the pinky. And then I just put a rubber base top coat so that when I do file down, I I get the the rubber base. Alright, so this now always be looking crooked. I'm trying to make it somewhere in the middle. Honey. Lord, hold on. Rear, rear, rear. <laughs> Girl, this nail's gonna be needing a whole ass lipo. You know what? I don't know. If this nail gonna come out cute because look at bitch. Look at all the sides. I'm not gonna have enough. Fuck it. No, don't not say I'm a little thumb. Oh my god. Oh my god, Becky. Catwoman. So, like I was saying, normally I don't put this much nail tip. Like on a client, I would cut it. Maybe, should I do it for you guys too? Fuck it. Just for class purposes then. So I would cut it up to here. Like this or more. So it becomes a regular nail tip. Like boom, you know? Boom, 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 boom. Nee, 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 nee. Yes, I'm always taking new clients. I'm I'm I've been taking new clients for a while now, but it's only for freestyles. Long freestyles. I'm not expecting shuddy shuddies because I have enough of those. Oh my lord, honey. I'm not gonna leave them this long either, so don't even get it too excited. Like, oh my god, Zule, those shits are too long. <laughs> Oh, I haven't seen you in a while, girl. What do you mean? Where you been at? All right, so I'm just gonna glue them on. Hold on, it needs more glue. There's a big ass tip. I recommend a size eight through twelve for beginners. All right, so oh shit. Oh my lord, how am I gonna wipe my ass? You love the curve. I have not done curved nails. Oh shit. In a long time. Yeah, these are the 5XL. I would have called them longer, but I was like, that's the longest I'm going to call these fucking tips. But to be honest, I feel like they're way longer than a 5XL. I was deprived all weekend. From what? Dude, me puse la uña chueca, ¿verdad? Honey, your finger, go that way. I just got my nails done. I cannot do nothing with them. Girl, you will get used to it. Dude. I don't think... Oh, que la verga. I don't think curved nails are for crooked fingers. Like, honey, this nail looks hella crooked. With this curved nail, like... My finger already goes sideways. I don't really care if I glue mine crooked because they're temporary, but 
Because my nails, my fingers are... Oh, que la chingada pinche mera finger, ¿no te quieres quedar o qué vergas? Hijo de tu puta madre, ándale, quédate. Honey, why you not lying? I know I call you crooked, but I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me blow. Bitch, you better fucking stare at my fucking... I'm gonna put you more crooked, motherfucker. All right, you know what? Let me throw, put activator on it. No, 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 no. Sometimes if you put too much glue, it does not dry. So, um, people, we think. Echale más glue, echale más glue. No, 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 amiga. Menos glue, better for you. The more glue you have, the less it dries. Okay, let's see. Let me get my activator. Where is it? Right here. So I'm putting an activator because, again, this is not on my regular nail bed. I have a protection. Bitch, you thought you were not going to dry? Lord, my little cut is hurting. I cut myself when I was shaving off my nails. Lord. Lord, baby Jesus. What's the best glue, honey? Zule glue. I recommend my nail glue and my bling adhesive. If you guys haven't tried our nail glue. So we have a few different glues, guys. Do not think the nail glue is for bling. Because the nail glue is for nail tips. To glue the nail tips. And the bling adhesive is for bling bling. It is thicker. Mm -hmm. Bling adhesive, honey. All right, so, oh, my Lord, imagine me doing my nails this long. No, 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 no. Wait, me mata, the way. I have a client that gets these nail tips. Not the whole thing, of course, but the curve looks nice. So, I'm hoping it looks nice on me, too. Even though I have chubby fingers, so it might not. But, fuck it. Um, They might even have to, girl, I, I wait, it moved. Hold on. Any specific tips on how to use a cluster gel for gluing 14 mm? Just make sure you put a lot of gel all around the crystal and cure it really well. Stephanie, what did you say? Sorry, the fucking comment moved. What's your favorite color to do on yourself? I love pink. I love, love, love pink. What tips? The tips look a little too big. Yeah, they are. I'm going to cut them. I'm not going to leave them this long. I just want to take a picture. <gasps> Where's my phone? Hold on, guys. Hold on. Um, I tried to use pliers, like you said, to twist off the cap and it won't budge. Do you have the old bottle? Take it to your dad or your hubby. Normally, my hubby is the one that opens it for me because I be having greasy ass hands all the time. Hold on, let me take a picture. Oh my god. Oh my god, Becky, your finger go that way. Go all that kind of way. No mama's way. Literally, my finger go that way. Oh hell no, I don't even know how to act with these. Lord. The new plastic one. What, girl? How can you, how can I, I mean, I can't even fucking talk right now. That one is easy to open. My dad is in Texas. Tell your hubby. Okay, I'm going to do them. Should I do them this long or shorter? Bitch. Evie queen. No, mom is way shorter. Leave them shorter. <gasps> okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. We're going to do a pull. They look, he look like duck nails, huh, Lori? Oh, my God, Becky. That is too long, bitch. Me mato a la verga. I can't even close my hand. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, fuck you guys in your pool. I'm just going to cut a little bit more because, Lord, I can't even bend my hand. <laughs> no, hombre, wey. No, hombre, wey. They're still... 
Oh, fuck. The pinky is super short. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. I have to cut them to be similar. No, fuck you in the phone. No, 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 no. Como ustedes no van a cargar las pinches uñas pendejas, cabronas, hijos de su maíz. They look long as fuck. So normally I try to guide myself from my cuticle to the tip. The pinky is so much shorter. I fucked up on that one, but it's okay. It looks like it fits, huh? Or should I put a piece? Should I put the pinky longer or así nomás? Dude, this thumb just doesn't fit. Cut them to match the pinky. Cut the thumb down. Yeah, I'm going to cut them just a little bit. All right. Just like a little centimeter. So they could almost be like the pinky, but not really. Because to be honest, the pinky is always shorter for me. I always do the pinky shorter. Okay, guys. So today we're going to do something different. We're going to do... We're going to do nails with gel. Encapsulated gel. All right. So I'm going to file my nail tip. Oh my God, I'm sweating up in here. I normally don't do this, but today we are. And so just in case you guys ever want to do a, a nail with... um. We're going to do gel. Gel for your nail. So that's the only time you should be filing your your nail tip. Um, I mean, personally, I feel like you don't need to file the tip. The acrylic adheres to the plastic. But I see a lot of people filing it, but you don't have to. Right now, I do have to, though, because gel just doesn't stick that well like that all right so i'm gonna file them all just because i don't know if i'm gonna do the same thing to the all of them i prefer working with acrylic i'm not very good at gel but i still try it you know because if even if you're not good you do oh my gosh senora oh my god they look they look like hold on they, they look a little flared let me try to no 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 no, no. i'm just gonna leave it fuck it fuck it fuck it fuck it fuck it thug life fuck it thug life okay all right so pretend i already prepped all my nails let me turn off this heater because i'm gonna fucking melt I'm already melting, bitch. So I'm going to be using... Oh, yeah. I'm going to Where did I leave my gel? Oh, hold on. Let me get it. I'm going to be using gel polish number 91. Honey, I And I'm also going to get a sponge. So we're experimenting today. Don't mind me. We're going to be using gel polish um, 91. Fuck, man. I don't have clear rubber baits. Hello. Hold on, let me get my husband to bring me one. One second, please. Where is he? Hold on, can you bring 
Rubber base clear. All right, so I'm gonna put a rubber base clear so my um my gel can stick. So I'm gonna attempt to do like a little ombre with a sponge because I'm gonna do an ombre acrylic. You know, tick, 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 tick. so we're doing new shit today. All right, take notes, guys, because hello. Marido, hello, hello, hello. Hubby, you come in or what? So I'm gonna be using this gel polish. It's a nice orange, number 91. It's available from uh, my website. Oh shit, the little thing came off. So look, it's like, I wanted to do something bright, but not like neon, neon. Thank you. All right, so I'm gonna apply this one first, the rubber base in clear. So, what is the rubber base coat for? It's a base coat for gel. Or you could also use it on your natural nail, but um, right now, since I'm going to apply gel on the tip, I want it to stick really well. I'm literally just going to apply it to the nail tip um, because I don't know how far I'm going to go. Look, there's already something right here. Look at, look at, what the hell is this? A stupid lint. Where'd you come from? where you come from? Um, the rubber base, no, it's not the same as regular gel. It has a special formula for better adhesion. Look at this lint. But it goes before the gel. It's like a base coat, magical gel for you. You could use regular base coat if you don't have, um, this one for this process. Um, I just don't have regular base coat. So this is what I'm using. Do you use acrylic for prep? Um, I already prep my nails before coming on live. So that's why I'm not prepping them because I already have gel and all of that. I should have probably blended the tip, but fuck it, whatever. All right. So I'm going to put this in the lamp. Oh my god, look at my nails, bitch. My hands look even more fat. Oh my god, Becky. Why your finger go like that? Because, honey, I was born like that. My finger do all kinds of ways. All right, I'm going to cure it really quick. Sorry, miss. What is the clear again? It is um the rubber-based gel in clear. So we have these in different colors. But the clear one is the most popular. You can apply it before, like when you're going to do a regular manicure, gel extensions, or even acrylic enhancements. So pretty much you could use it on anything, even poly gel. But you have to still prep your nails with primer and then this goes at the end and you cure this in the lamp. You put the orange first, then you start what? I'm putting the the rubber base on my nail because how do you call it i'm gonna be using gel on a plastic tip instead of putting acrylic i'm gonna put gel because i don't have this color in acrylic which i need all right so i'm just gonna put it on the nail like a regular like we just painting the nail to give it color and because i'm gonna do an ombre i'm just gonna go halfway so, normally for an ombre, you kind of want to um, blend it up a little bit. Like, not have a harsh line because then it's going to be harder for you to erase it. So, I'm going to use my little brush. I mean, my little... Wait, maybe I should put color on here. I don't know. I'm experimenting, guys. Never done this before. What do you do if you have a slanted girl? You just work with it because, oh, fuck my life. I have one. I have one of those. Come on, honey. I guess I'm not very good at this because it's not really doing its thing, but fuck it. We shall move on. 
um i'm using my orange gel polish number 91 and the sponge is from the makeup section just whatever sponge you got hello yeah you just kind of want to lighten it up i'm gonna put a second coat so look it is getting a little lighter so when you put the the nude because i'm gonna put nude it will hopefully not have like a harsh transition maybe if you have a fucking brush to blend i don't know again this is my first time doing it on my sale girl too many karens today <laughs> cure between blending um okay 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 yeah the more viewers there are the more rude people just ignore them ignore them we don't need no negativity up in here felicia's so if y'all here just to talk shit, we gonna ignore you. Use a blending brush. I don't have one. That's why I'm using the stupid sponge. I use a sponge on a stupid set once. Maybe it only um it only works when you have multiple colors. Oh, okay, okay, I'm gonna cure it then. Yeah, I'm gonna put a second coat just to maybe make this part a little bit more blended. I don't fucking know. We are gonna make it work anyway, but it looks a little crazy. I know we do. How's everybody doing today? By the way, I forgot to ask you guys. How rude. I hope you guys are doing a great. I mean, I hope you guys are doing great. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. All right, I'm going to cure this already. Fuck it. Thug life. I'm doing good, too. Thank the Lord. Good cleaning my closet. Okay, sounds like some knows. I wish no one. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy, happy Monday. I'm also going to be using the color G17, I hope. And... Cover salmon. It's freezing in Texas. Ah, shit. Um, the gel polishes are 15 cookies. Hi, Lori. I'm going to be using cover salmon also. This is one of my favorites. <sighs> Can't wait to see your new creation. Oh, maybe I should be nice and give you guys a discomfort gel today since we're promoting the gel, huh? Okay, little gel code. Okay. Ooh, this color is so pretty. All right, let's do an... I'm going to put another coat. Not that it really needs it, but just to blend, Okay. Trying to convince my mom to let me. Ah, shit, it moved. Oh, my God. Ooh, this color is so pretty. Just in case you guys don't, yes, please. We still have our discount code from the scoops. That's true. Not everybody has a discount code. That's why I'm like, hmm. Is that the reflective pink gel polish on your nail? No. Oh, look it. So the ombre is getting better. Okay, honey, you work it. Work that sponge, you lay. Work it, work it. Okay. You're right. Okay, so instead of making a new code, I could just give you guys the code. It expires today, so... If you guys would like to shop on the store, um, can you comment below? It is golf, golf two. It expires. Wait, yeah, tonight. How huh, they do look kind of ducky. My hubby. 
And it's because of my hubby golf too. Okay. This is actually pretty damn satisfying. Like, we're about to crash the site. Don't leave me yet, bitch. The fucking coding going away right now. Yeah, good idea, Myra. Good idea. That way I don't have to move from here. And I don't think the code has like, um, I don't think the code. Ah, shit. I fucking touched it. It's like caps. Like it doesn't have. Ah, shit. I fucked it up. Millie, callate. Tu no más que hoy is the last day. No mañana. They don't need to know that. If you guys had to choose a nail set for me based on my profile pic, what would they look like? Suli. Pink. Pink. Pink with butterflies. Pink with butterflies. I seen your IG. Oh, shit. Move. It's going too fast. I just saw something about the class, but what is golf to? It's our discount code for today. All right, so that's enough fucking blending. Doesn't matter. All right, so that's the color. We're going to do little ombres. And then on one nail, I'll probably do something different. Uh, my thumb is sore after doing my nails. Just for like a day or two. That just means you overfiled your nail probably. Or you're just not used to having nails. The code golf to expires today. After the live for everybody else. Yes, I'm I love those ideas. Yes, girl. I told you, hey mama, do you saw the bling you have on your nails? Yes, we do. Check it out. Where are you going? Sorry, I told you. I forgot. Oh, to the gym? On your way back, can you bring me a frat pay? <laughs> for me, not for you. Why are you putting on Because close the door. Just because you're in a diet don't mean I am. Is it late discount for Starbucks? No, girl, I don't want Starbucks. I want McDonald's frappe. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I'm cold, but fuck it. Okay, guys. Bless you. Let me turn on my heater. So he's going to go to the gym. Let me this guy do lives. So, I think I'm going to go live every day because I'm going to gym. Huh? And I'm going to do all day, every day. Alright, so let me show you guys the colors I'm going to use. Mickey D's is strong. I don't really like McDonald's coffees anymore. I just like... I like... um. Look at how pretty. I like the... Um, the frappes. Zuli, where's Mimi? I don't know, girl. In her house, I think. This color is so pretty. All right, let me get. Where the hell? It's my brush. All right, I'm going to be using my Kalinsky number 16. The frappe is no, I love the caramel frappe. That one is my favorite. Yeah, that's my mom. She be packing them. So look at this is a color. So the reason why I don't like that my mom fills them all the way super full is because they get pressed down. Look at and then they look like this. So if you guys ever get one, you just need to smash it with your with your brush. And they go back to powder form. So I've been telling her, like, yeah, fill them full, but not too full. Where they get pressed, you know? Ooh, extra caramel drizzle. Yummy. So that's the cover salmon. 
And then look at this pretty one. Wait a minute. This one's yellow. Fuck it. It has orange in there. I don't know if I'm going to use that one actually. That one has a little bit more yellow. L let me check. Let me do the ombre first. All right. So. Am I going to do in-person classes? Um, I do one every year. So just in case you guys are looking at my nail and you're like, oh, honey, that nail does not fit. You, we know that already because that's the biggest nail. That's the biggest nail that came in the fucking bag. All right. So we're going to do an, a little ombre. This color is fucking beautiful. So if you guys have not got this one, you need it in your life. Oh, shit. You know what I forgot? I forgot to put a little clear. So before you start doing this, put clear a little bit on your on your orange. Clear acrylic so that it blends better. Um, I, I use gel polish number 91. I forgot. Oh, yeah. So we're talking about the classes, right? So I do a, a class every year for the most part in person around March. But a lot of my followers are not from California or from LA. So I decided to finally bring the online class. I did a few in the past, but I was like, let's start this year with education. Let me just smash, 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 smash. And with what I'm going to do today, you don't necessarily have to do like a perfect ombre. Because, you know, we ain't perfect. How much is the class? Um, The online class is 100 cookies. And um, it is for beginners. Or if you've been doing nails for like a little bit and you need help with your prep, with your application and shaping, that's the glass for you. So this nail is going to look a little wonky uh, only because it doesn't fit, okay? What part of Cali am I located in? I'm located, I do nails in Los Angeles, California. All right, hold on, guys. I can't look at the comments when I'm doing my cuticle little bead. But this is one of my favorite nail colors. What color is the cover? Um, this one is called Cover Salmon. The class starts at four. At four, I don't. I never have an ending time because it's until I'm done explaining everything that I have. Um. Like, for example, I'm going to go over four different shapes, um, how to shape four different shapes. And so until I'm done with those, then the class will be over. You know, like I don't really like to put a time frame because I don't want to rush myself. Orange sugar or flowers. Ooh. Yes, I am actually going to put flowers today. I miss them. But I think I'm going to do like regular round ones like for spring, you know? All right. Um, Even if you guys are not in L.A., you guys could take this online class. It's going to be online on Instagram. If you guys need one more information as to what I'm going to cover, go to my Instagram. Actually, I posted it on TikTok as well. You guys can look at the flyer there. This set is giving me spring summer vibes. Yeah, that's what we're trying to summon, but without the heat. I don't want the heat. I was like, let's do something a little different, not out of the ordinary from like Valentine's. Something different. Poppy or hydrangea? What? 
like my next color i just want my nails done is it going to be over zoom or just a video it's going to be on a live video on instagram i have a pro private profile that i do my classes on so you must be added there in order to see the content I love Valentine's nails, but I just wanted to try a new color and, you know, start pushing orange on people. <laughs> I'm going to be adding glitter. Hold on. I'm, I'm just doing the solid colors first and then I'll put the flitter. Because once you whip out the glitter, good luck. You get glitter everywhere. Yes, cover salmon is perfect with pinks and oranges. How did you start getting into nails? Um, I actually did it as a hobby, like for fun. And then little by little, it just kind of happened. You make it look so easy, girl. When I was a beginner, I used to watch YouTube videos all the time. And I was like, oh my god, my, I wish my nails would um, look like that or whatever. Like they would apply that smooth and shit or whatever. But it just takes practice. Just be patient. All of you guys' work can look way better than Zule. Trust me. Trust me, honey. I am nowhere near perfect. Y'all that are just starting, you guys can learn properly with great products, with no bad habits, and surpass the sensei. It came me. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me turn this here off. Yeah, I'm going to off. Dude, I have... I think I'm going to like through menopause or something because I get hot really quick, honey. And then I also um have a long sleeve shirt on, so that doesn't help. I love your vibe. Thank you, my friend. My nails look like duck nails, huh? Low key. So, this acrylic does dry a little bit faster than some of our acrylics, the covers. They do dry a little faster, which are perfect for the winter right now. Get out, you fucking bitch glitter. Get out. Move. If you have PCOS, that's the worst. Girl, I probably do, but I, I haven't got... They haven't told me at the doctor, but... All my clients be talking about that shit all the time. And I'm like, ooh, that sounds like me, girl. Do you have any tips when applying the cuticle? Um, Just point your finger down for everything, not just the cuticle. And try not to place the bead directly on the skin. Um, Just right, like, like right before it. And then you just push it up. Is that gel color under the acrylic? Yes. Yep. How you know? How you know, honey? How you know? Lori, you lie? You lie? You like this color, Lori? You should check it out. They have meds to help. Well, first, first I need to get diagnosed, right? I'm just saying I might have it because I like to self-diagnose myself. Just like all of us, you know, we go on Google and shit. It's the humbleness for me. Y'all all need to be humble. You should go get it checked out. I met. What makes you think you have PCOS? Well, first of all, <laughs> Google is not your friend for real. First of all, let me tell you guys. I'm hairy as shit, okay? I started growing a fucking beard, bitch. Like, I've always been hairy. My family is super hairy, like, monkey-style hairy. Like, bitch, I got fucking hair on my toes type of shit hairy in my belly button or whatever the fuck around my stomach. 
second of all um so i had a mustache at like third grade <laughs> but but i got it lasered i got it my lip lasered six years ago and now it's like full as blown mustache again like what the hell but worst not only that but I don't get a period every month, which is normal to me because I never really had one, even as a teenager, didn't come regularly. And then um, I get very hot sometimes, more hot than cold. Wax it, girl. I be, I be going to fucking to laser it again. Like, fuck that. Okay, y luego me salió pinche pelo más en el culo. Like, no mames, güey. Like, honey, where you come from? Me salió en los brazos. Me salió en todos lados. Like, bitch. My man's gonna think he got married to fucking Carla or whatever the fuck her name is from Tarzan. <laughs> like, dude, look at Even my fingers have hair. Like her knee. Look, look at my hand. Okay, like bitch. I'm hairy to another level at this point. Like Chewbacca and no, that's my sister. Hey, just kidding, just kidding. Just kidding right now. You listen and you'll be like, bitch, what the fuck? She don't like when I make jokes from her. So I gotta make them about myself. Yeah, I like to make fun of myself. So, let's see. How many years ago? Two years ago, there was some fucking bitch being like, Oh my God, you're so hairy. That's all I can focus on. I can't even focus on the nails. I was like, rude. How about you fucking pay me so I could go laser them then, you hoe? Nah, but I ended up lasering them because I wanted to, not because of her. Yes, these are, it sounds like you might have PCOS. I think you should get diagnosed. I got diagnosed with it. Yeah, I've, I've been meaning to go check it out. But my doctor fucking sucks. Yeah, I was like, rude. Hello. Does laser hurt? Um, It depends on every on your pain tolerance, to be honest. I thought it did because... I had thick, coarse, dark as hair. I'm telling you, I was like a man. Like a little man. And, um, yeah, it did hurt. You don't see no hair? I hope you put her on don't schedule list. Oh, no, 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 no. She was not a client. She was a fucking viewer on YouTube. I got wax mine Friday. Woo. You need to go to OBGYN. That's what make sure you get a second opinion. Yeah, I am going to go to... So, I have Kaiser. Bitch, this nose crooked. I have Kaiser. And I heard a lot of good stuff. But let me tell you, I have not had the best experience at Kaiser so far. They give me numbing cream every time I go. Well, they must not like me. Or maybe I look like a tough ass cookie to them or something because I don't get no fucking nummy nothing. <sighs> All right, hold on, guys. Let me get my flitter. Let me get my flitter up in here. Up in here. Up in here. Let's see. What color can I use? Um, should I do... Hmm. I could definitely do daily, but no, I'm not gonna do that. Ooh, what about popping bottles? Let me try that out. Hold on, guys. I'm searching in my ooh screwdriver is pretty too. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try putting these two colors. I'm in. 
I don't see no hair. Where at? So I ended up waxing, I mean, lasering my arms. But look at that. I have little hairs now. But back then, my arm, arms were hairy. Nah, nah, mo. Nah, nah, mo. Or maybe I'll give it like a few months. They told me the only way to diagnose PCOS was the ultrasound. Oh, damn. The, oh, and you know what? Also, I feel like I have like cysts in my ovaries or some shit because there'll be some times where like me duele el pinche huevo. No mames. Like, I feel like my eggs are fighting each other to come out or something. I don't fucking know. But, um, but we can't say we ovulating because a bitch don't get a period, you know? So I don't fucking know. Ooh, honey, that's so pretty. All right, let me see. Ooh, yes, girl. So I'm going to be using popping bottles and screwdriver. You guys are going to be like, what the fuck kind of names are those, lay bitch? Yup, a fucking egg fight, ho. I'm going to do like... Yeah, they hate when we self-diagnose, but bitch, we have to sometimes scare ourselves to go to a fucking doctor. You know, no, I'm like, never, 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 never. This color is so fucking pretty. I don't even think I need popping bottles, but we still going to put it just in case. I love the drink names. Yeah. Yeah, so that is the collection of of um the alcoholic beverages that I made. You know what? I might just not put um popping bottles. I'll just do I don't fucking know what I did. Just like a little squiggly wanna be. Right? It just looks nice even by itself, or should we do popping bottles? Let's see. Popping bottles. Oh, just extra glitter. Like extra glitter. Honey. Yes. Maybe I put too much glitter. There's never enough, Zule. Um, so these two, I'll leave them solid. And then the pinky, I'll also put some glitter. Yeah, so I have a collection where it's pure alcohol beverages. I don't really drink, so I had to Google them. So just in case you guys are like, what the fuck kind of drink is that? A hey, Google said there's an alcoholic beverage that sound is called screwdriver. I don't fucking know. I don't drink. I don't drink Felicia. I don't know. Yeah, so we're just gonna put this color. Just like a little, ee, like a little whatever, whatevs. Doesn't have to be perfect, just like whatevs. And then a little bit of popping bottles, just to make it extra shiny. Just don't even overthink it, just place it like whatevs, you know, like. Pew, pew, pew. We're going to end up putting shit on top, so. Oh my gosh, Becky. Maybe I should put a little bit here, like. Pew, pew, pew. I'll put it on the index finger. I'll put it on this one. Screwdriver, this morado orange juice with tequila. Oh, okay. That's what it is. Okay, my right now. Tu si sabes tus alcoholes, no como yo. So look, at, if you guys ever suck at doing like ombres, here's a little tip that I can give you guys to make it look a little bit better. This is what I used to do as a beginner. I would just go in with a little glitter like this. And put it in between both the colors and boom. It's like the eye goes to the glitter, not really to the imperfections. And you'd be like, what? Or even if you don't have a orange glitter, um, you could just use a clear iridescent. It works. Trust me, it works. I did it all the time. Like if I ever did a fucking uh, ombre and I was like, Ooh, girl, that ain't that ain't it it ain't it like my client about to slap me with her fucking nails i would be like oh i think a little glitter will look cute and then they're like okay and then i'll put a little bit of glitter like right now i'm putting a lot of glitter because they're my nails 
But on a client, I would just put like very little and clear iridescent and boom. It just takes it to a whole other level. Like if you guys ever want to get your nails done with me and then you tell me I don't like glitter, be like, <gasps> what? You, we can't be friends. We cannot be friends. What are you doing to the ring finger? I'm going to do flowers. I just, I, I kind of want to do encapsulated, but I'm still debating. So that's why I haven't put nothing on there yet. I swear, Zulay, you're getting faster. No, girl, I've been here for a while. It's already been an hour. What do you mean? I've been chitty, witty, 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 witty. Ooh, yes, yes. So I kind of want to do like encapsulated situation here. Should I put gold? Zulay. Zulay, you blame. When in doubt, glitter it out. Why orange? I love orange. That's why. I love orange. I'm ready for summer colors, but I'm not ready for the weather itself yet. Um, And I feel like you guys are going to get bored of all the pinks that I've been doing and fucking red. So I'm like, hey, let me do something different. You know? Like, I always choose my favorite colors. Always. Add gold. Oh, well, I already encapsulated it. Maybe to the other nail. I'll add gold. Orange and gold look so pretty. So I'm just encapsulating it with clear acrylic. Switch it up. Mm -hmm. I do not like red, but I did it for you guys. So that's why I'm like, okay, let's throw in a little summer, summer vibes. Um, I use screwdriver. And um, popping bottles. Raise your hands if te gusta tomar. Levanta la mano si eres alcohólica. I want to get toasted. <laughs> Hi, Dory. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Karen. Can you get your nail brushes? What? Ah, oh, fuck. I... Off Amazon. Mm, oh shit! What did I do? I flipped my iPad backwards. None of my products are available on Amazon. You can find them on my website. The link is on my bio. One of my followers was like, "Zulay, you should put your stuff on Amazon." I'm like, <laughs> no, ma'am, no, ma'am. Maybe in the future, but not right now. I still like to be in charge of everything. I'm using my size 16 Kalinsky brush, the pink one. So I'm working on a new brush for you guys. Since you guys requested a new brush, I'm like, okay, honey, new color, new you. Um, or maybe just a unicorn color. Let's see if they have it again. But I was like, hmm, hmm. Any tips for starting an online store? Just do it, girl. If you've been thinking of doing any fucking store or business, do it. But I recommend to do a little research first on like which where you want to open your store. Like, for example, there's Shopify, there's Etsy, there's Big Cartel, there's um, what the fuck else? Pirate Ship or whatever the fuck. Um, try to see which one is best for you because each one is different, different price, different everything. When I started my store, I didn't really look, not even going to lie. I don't even know if Shopify was a thing back then or not. I started my store. I'm going on my sixth year. Um, I ended up with Big Cartel because I followed this girl. I followed this girl. And she sold her products on there. She also sold nail stuff. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna... I mean, if she if she likes it, I think she does because she was there for a while. I'm gonna give it a chance. And what I liked about that... 
What I liked about it was that you can have your five your five um first products for free. And in other ones you have to pay. So that's something you have to look into. But like versus Etsy, like let's just say, um Big Cartel, you already have to throw your clients over there. Like there's no way in hell somebody gonna find you if they don't search you up. Like like on Etsy, they could type in mm, press on nails or whatever the hell you're doing. And then the people who are coming to Etsy will find you like that. But on Big Cartel, there's no search engines like that. You have to already bring in your customers to your site. You know, I don't know if Shopify is like that or not. I never shopped there before. But yeah, so just search around. Why didn't you do Valentine's Day design since it's almost February? Um, Because that's what I've been doing on my nails for the past couple sets. So check it out. My nail is curvy. Curvy, curvy. Made you blush or tang acrylic? Ooh, those colors would have been cute. I'm currently using um screwdriver. May wait, this is my kind of curve. Yes, girlfriend. Back in the day, I used to like curves. It's like curved, but not too too curved. The only thing that I struggle with is with the little acrylic at the tip. What do you do when the acrylic is stuck in the brush? You just clean it, wipe it off. That's why you have to keep wiping your nail on the napkin. I mean, your brush on the napkin. <clears throat> hey girl, I have questions. I get little bubbles when I do several clear acrylic. Any tips? Um, just try to apply your acrylic a little bit more wet or wet your brush right before. Like go like this. Go like this. Like take out any little bubbles or trap air, whatever the fuck can be in there. And then work wet. Do not work dry because that the bubbles come out sometimes when the acrylic is worked too dry or if you pat on it too much or whatever. Zule, did you ever do the eagle style nails? I remember when they would sell those tips. Eagle? Girl, hell no. So when I was younger, I didn't really get my nails done. I didn't get my nails done until I was 16, I believe. Um, My mom paid for my mother day nails because, girl, I was already a fucking mama. And nails always interested me like that. So I was like, okay. Hold on, let me zoom out a little. Um, So my mom gave me money. They were like 15 cookies back in the day. She gave me some money to get my nails done, but they were curved, but not like eagle style. I, I wouldn't know what to ask for. I was actually intimidated. I was like, what am I supposed to ask for? Like, how do I even sit down in their chair? I've never done this before. So I was like, um, cappuccino. And that's it. Is it easier to work with acrylics way better than a little dry? Um, it's preference, whatever you like. I like the faster drying ones sometimes, but sometimes I like the, the ones that are a little bit more wet. It depends on the mood and what you're going for, you know? Like if you're going for like a one bead method situation, then of course you want to use something more wet. If you like to work in small beads at a time, like myself, then I go with, um, something that dries faster. But that's just me. When I was a beginner, I liked things to dry slow. Because, you know. Man, I miss 20 cookies. I said those were the days for real. Those were the days back in the day. But you know what? Like a lot of people think like, oh my gosh. Um, nails got expensive, but if you think about it, everything and their mama got expensive, and so did our pay. 
Well, at least here in California, bitch. I remember. Oh, my Lord. I used to get paid eight cookies an hour. Like, fucking eight years ago or ten years ago. Eight cookies an hour. And that's when... Well, actually, maybe it was like seven cookies an hour. Because I didn't work yet. When they were $15 or 15 cookies or whatever. But... Now... I don't even know what the minimum wage is. Like 13? How much is your minimum wage? Every state is different. So that's why I feel like we can't really discuss nail prices because it varies in state to state. Like we don't want to offend anybody, you know? Like I could say here in California, these nails go for X, Y, Z price. But then if you live in another state where your minimum wage is cheaper, you're going to be like, what the fuck? Like, I'm in the wrong state, you know? But it depends. Everywhere is different. So don't ever get discouraged for the price you're p getting paid or whatever. Because, it, like I said, it varies from state to state, city to city, whatever. You know what I mean? Your prices... Pretty much reflect the area you live in, work in. 2003 minimum wage was five? Oh, my Lord. Let's see. I was in high school at that time. Oh, my God. So, I started working since I was 16. I was making eight cookies an hour. And to me, my paychecks were fucking... Like, at first, I was like, 200 cookies? Damn, bitch. I'm balling. I'm balling, bitch. Zule, can my order be shipped ASAP, please? Excuse me, what's your name? <laughs> when did you place your order? That's true, big girl, because I live in California and I know how expensive things are. Yeah, shit is so fucking expensive. It's ridiculous. But we choose to live here because of all the things we have, you know? So it has its pros and its cons. Girl, I just went to buy eggs too, and I was like, How much? They even crossed the number. Uh, I'm like, You know what? I'm not even gonna ask how much. I'm just gonna add them to my car because bitch knows she can't live without the eggs. During COVID, I bought eggs for 50 cookies. Can you guys believe that shit? My sister was like, You're fucking stupid. But I'm like, Girl, during co quarantine. I was like, bitch, I love me some eggs. I need them every day. So I don't give a fuck how much they cost. This bitch gonna buy them. Oh, <laughs> Even for an avocado, I have paid up to three cookies for one avocado. Judge me. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I like what I like. Okay. Um, yeah, Zule, I placed my order 20 minutes. When will it ship? Okay, Sandy, like in three days. <laughs> yeah, so I am crazy, but I don't go fuck. Everybody crazy for something. And I was desperate. Because at the start, they didn't have none. But to make it more reasonable, they were 50 eggs or 60 or whatever. So it wasn't that bad. Zule, she, Zule, not balling. I just love eggs. I can't live without them. I love eggs. Shit, I, I wouldn't mind not having Starbucks, but I'm going to have my eggs. Zule, no, I hook it up with avocados. I have two avocado trees. Ooh, yes, girl. Okay. I'm crazy for my own man's huevos. Fuck. Me too. I se los agarra con estas claws. Like. Ven, papi. Todo sudadito de sus huevitos. Me vete a bañar. Ahorita te muerdo uno. Fuck, man. Stupid glitter. Where you come from? Where you come from? Okay, Zule, you fucked up your nail right there, honey. Gotta turn my volume down. Why? Are you embarrassing me? Are you embarrassed of me? 
of what I'm saying to you? <laughs> I just can't. I placed my order today. Oh, sh when, girl? I didn't see your order. Maybe you haven't been on my phone, huh? <laughs> so I have, oh my gosh, my nails, I can't believe they're curved. Oh my God, Becky. Oh my gosh. Zulei, say hi to my man. ¿Cómo se llama tu man again? ¿Cómo se llama? El chismoso. Alfred? Fernando? Oh, Efraín. Hi, Efraín. ¿Qué estás haciendo, amigo? ¿Qué? ¿Que le vas a dar dinero a la cara? Oh, my God. Qué bueno, el Efraín. Para que le den chupi chupi. <laughs> Definitely not embarrassed. You loud girls. 11 p.m. I know. I'm just kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. You know, we're talking about huevos. We joking. La Karen dijo... La Karen dijo que si le compran algo en la tienda today, que va a chupar huevo. What? Show. <ríe> va a chupar huevo también. No nada más verga, pero también huevito. Le va a hacer. Huevo salado. Fuck it. A mí me gusta la sal. A la verga. De esa sal no te sube la presión. My husband crying. <laughs> He'd be like, the fuck are you listening to, bitch? What the hell? Hold on, guys. I'm getting too excited on this nail. That's why the hubby and boyfriends love Zule. Hell yeah. First, Zule. Ah, oh, shit. He better grab a towel and go shower. Correle, mijo. Correle. Correle, vete al shower. Pero primero dale la cartera, eh. Y sin fondo, 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 fondo. Yeah, my room is getting cold already because my acrylic is drying a little slower. Wish your hubby got your frat pee before his workout, huh? Don't worry, girl. I'll pay up. Mi vato voltea y dice, ¿qué verga? ¿Oyes? ¿Qué le digo? <laughs> no way the husband's listening right now. He needs to listen. Huh. Miren, atención a todos los tóxicos, maridos, marinovios, baby daddies, sugar daddies, whatever daddy you is, bitch. Pay attention. Um, Valentine is around the fucking corner, motherfuckers. Si quieren, si quieren que les den chupi chupi, vayan a comprarles material. ¿Ok? Yo les doy la orden. Pues ustedes meten la orden y yo les doy la orden a sus morras. ¿Ok? They need, they need a new collection of gel. They need acrylics. They need bling bling in their life. They need all kinds of shit. ¿Ok? So if you guys want a good time on Valentine's Day, you guys better fucking get the right gift. They don't want fucking roses, bitch. They want to make roses. On the nails. They probably want the como la flor. But it's out of stock. So don't come with your bullshit ass fucking freeway roses. Come with your fucking Zule package. Okay. He's listening. Alright. Zule out. Eh. Hang up. <laughs> they want some bling adhesive. Louder for those in the back. I'm going to have to make that an audio. Freeway roses. Ajá. No quieren las pinches rosas que se andan muriendo antes que lleguen a la casa. No mames, güey. No mames. So let me turn on the heater again. Nah, but no offense to the flowers. They're cute. They cute. But on Valentine's Day, nah. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but... I, 
I always tell my hubby and Patrick not to buy me flowers on Valentine's Day or around Mother's Day because not because I'm a coda. Well, it's not like I'm going to pay for them, right? But, like, I feel bad for the little fucking bitch flower they get for, like, 30 bucks. Like, nah. Fulio. If you're going to be spending 30 bucks or 60 or 100, 200, whatever the fuck you're going to you bitch, give me the money. Give me the money and I buy nail supplies. Nah, nah, nah. Sácate con tu pinche ramo de flores que se va a morir mañana. Con pinches vibras malas que hay en tu familia. Ni madre, dame money. Dame money, hija la chingada. ¿Quieres que te dé shupi shupi? Dame money. Para algo que sí sirve el... Que sí fucking vale la, la pinche... La pena. Ya los, los ramos de flores son para los capenitas andan de pinche novios. Like, bitch, we fucking married at this point, bitch. Nobody needs fucking flowers. We need, we need nail products. We need you to help invest in the business. Not make more trash, okay? Like, if you really want to get her some flowers, get her the forever flowers. Stop being a cheap ass. How long does your clear last you? Um, a long time. E, I'm trying to get, get used different content. Uh, well, I didn't understand. I didn't understand your comment, my friend. My husband said, ah, shit, hold on. That, why he gonna buy me fake ones? Hey, pues entonces que no te compre flores, mejor que te dé pal material. Oh, she's seen that, okay. Get me some edible flowers pa tragarme. <laughs> that too? Like, be more creative? Come on, guys. You guys want women to get all creative and shit? Get on their fucking hands and do all kinds of stunts, but y'all don't want to get creative with those fucking flower arrangements or whatever the fuck? Oh, hágale un pinche ramo de cien rosas, pero de cien dólares cada uno. O cinco. O uno de dos dólares por ahí. Pero de verdad, no del pinche Monopoly. Challenge you laces. Valentine said don't use pink, red, and purple. Ooh, yeah. That's true. That's a hard one. I mean, I could make this one Valentine real quick. Just put a heart and boom. All right. So, any more shout outs? You guys want me to give any more shout outs? I'm going to tell mine que ni haga un ramo de acrylic. Ay, tu shisha, mis. That's true. I actually saw a video. I don't know where it was at. If it was on Instagram or TikTok. But they did it with like cupcakes. So they did it with cups. Maybe instead of cupcakes, they could be acrylics. I prefer my como la flor. Oh, did you use it already? So, you guys can probably tell the difference from when my heater was off to now. Oh, I'm struggling over here because it doesn't dry fast. But now with the heater, it's going to start drying faster. So, if you guys struggle with your acrylic, it's a little watery or whatever, just not drying. Turn on your heaters. Turn on your heaters. Especially right now that it's cold. Because, Lord, these were getting lumpier by the second. Girl, I'm finna order so much from you, girl, Ladia. There's a discount code right now, so go place your order. Golf 2. If you guys would like to shop while we're live, we have a discount code. It is Golf, golf 2 for 10% off. It's a little discount. A little discount goes a long way. Mm-hmm. So, if you guys see my nail going that way, it is. It is, bitch. Oh, Lord. <laughs> my finger go that way, honey. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. It do, it do. Oh, my Lord. I'm going to be clicking, clicking for real. 
Lori, how are you hanging with your nails? Clickety clackety. Do you have matte polish? We do have a matte gel. I mean, yeah, matte top coat. Ugh, I don't know what to do to my ring finger. I kind of want. Yeah, I'm just going to do what I was thinking. I love how the duck's going. Oh, shit. I don't have no more. Monoma? Oh, my God, Becky. Where's my mama? I know. Oh, I just made I got one over here. I use my coat on Friday. Yes, Coco Bunny. Yes, girl. All right, hold on. I need a little bit more for my pinky. I'm just going to put a little bit. Um, Do you have a rubber-based top coat? No, there's no such thing as a rubber-based top coat. Well, at least I don't have one, but I do have a rubber-based coat. Rubber-based coat. So far, so good. Okay. I have an addiction. Ah, oh, shit. Se, se movio. I'm gonna do... I think I'm gonna do them white, the flowers. I want long nails like Zulay, but I type at a computer for a living. Oh, no, girl. I actually have clients who wear long nails, but not this long. And they type, and I'm like, girl, how could you do that? I can barely type with or without nails. I cannot do that. So, can someone explain what exactly is a rubber based gel? The rubber based gel goes before your enhancements, um, it's a base coat. It's a base coat with uh, a special little secret formula hey just kidding um that helps your extensions or your whatever you're doing your gel manicure last a lot longer than a regular base coat and it's a little thicker too so it gives more strength all right i'm gonna do all right so i have two questions for you all right we're gonna do a poll okay so my first my first question for this finger would you like to see quito jail i eh, just kidding okay i could do a frenchy yeah frenchy with encapsulated roses or wait, 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 wait. No, 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 not a Frenchie. Okay, let's just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah, yeah, no. You know what? Yeah, we could. Okay, a Frenchie with encapsulated roses or or little little regular five petal flowers with five, with caviar beads inside, like scattered. Okay. Like, do you guys remember the daisy ones from Marc Jacobs? The little flowers? Those. That's what I mean. Something like that. So, okay. For Frenchie with a rose, we're going to do happy face. If you want me to do the Marc Jacobs style little flowers, we're going to do sad face. Okay? Hold on. Let me do the poll. Ready, set, go. Go, go, go. Meanwhile, let me clean my monomer so I can have fresh, fresh monomer for my... Damn. Y'all went real quick with this. Mark Jacobs. Felicia's. For Valentine's Day, you want a dozen acrylics. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I guess... Oh, you're welcome, my right nut. I'm glad I could help. Let me take my balls out already then. We already see who's the winner. Winner, chicken dinner. Let me get my white acrylic. Ooh, unicorn dreams. I use so many fucking napkins. It's not even funny. 
All right, so we're going to do the Marc Jacobs style flowers. That's the best I could describe them. They're just five petals. I'm going to use my smooth and monomer. Damn, bitch, I can't even grab. I'm going to put some in my dampen dish. Not too much. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Bitch, I can't function. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. Let me clean my brush before I put it away. All right, so I'm going to be using some gold balls as my center. Um, I'm going to use um, probably this one. Nah, I'll use the bigger ones. You know, go big, go home. Okay, let me get a brush, 3D brush. Actually, I'm going to need my clear acrylic still. All right, so I'm going to use the clear acrylic to... Ooh, thank you for the llama. I'm going to use a clear acrylic to kind of grab the balls to hold them in place, I mean. Bitch. Come here. I'm going to need a lot of balls for this now. I'm using the clear acrylic to kind of hold them. Oh, shit. Bitch, come here. All right, we're going to sink them in there. I'm going to put like three per, per flower. What do you get more ice? What? What? Sorry, I didn't get to read the whole thing. I just saw ice cream or something. Ice cream, we scream, we all scream for ice cream. So I'm going to try to set, like leave a little space in between. To lay the back, to lay the back acrylic. Back? Um, The acrylics I used today were... Um, fuck, I forgot already. Screwdriver. Bitch, come to mama. I use screwdriver and popping bottles and cover salmon. Bitch, come here. Oh my lord, these balls are going to drive me nuts. And then the bright orange is a gel polish. Oh my lord, hold on. Yeah, I got them. No! I guess do, those don't want to come. Yeah, those balls do not want to come to mama. Alright, we're going to grab them first then. I love my colors, but I need a larger size. Can't find it on your site. Which ones? Which ones did you get? If you guys ever get colors from the scoops, sometimes we only have those available on the scoops. Not really like on, on the site. Some of them, not all. We have special colors for you. For special peoples. All right, let me. All right, so these are going to be my center for all my motherfucking flowers I'm going to do. Lord, these are going to be a lot of flowers. Um, Special colors for you. Andale, tu si sabes, amiga, tu si sabes. Special colors for you, for special people who like to participate in special activities. Special after dark activities. Angel kiss. Princess bubblegum. Oh yeah, we do. We do have those in one ounce. They're under the Valentine colors. Valentine shades or something like that. Alright, hold on guys. Ya se me bajó la energía poquito porque I'm over here focused on my flowers. 
that I'm about to do. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, like 10 fucking bitch flowers. We're going to do 10 motherfucking flowers, bitch. So pay attention. I can't find cover salmon. Um, cover salmon is under the new um cover colors. So if you go to search for new cover colors or something like that, it's right there. All right. Ooh, thank you for the heart hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. That's all I'm gonna do right now. And if I feel like I need an extra flower, I will put it a center. Jefe, bring Sule cafecito, please. Sí. Well, dejen que le haga workout primero. Apenas se fue. So, I'm going to put a little bit of acetone. I put a shitload. Shitload in my monomer. And then, I'm going to get my white acrylic. Why didn't I blend the tip? Because I'm a lazy ass hoe. <laughs> I should have, but I didn't think about it until it was too late. Anyway, hold on. Let me position myself better. All right. So. All right. I'm going to use my. Actually, I could use my number two brush. If I have one here. Do I have one here? Yes. Yes, I do. All right. I'm going to use a number two acrylic brush. I'm going to zoom you guys in, actually. All right, Angel Kiss is beautiful. Yeah, that color is so pretty. All right. Yeah, I'm a lazy hoe. I just wanted to get started with these nails, to be honest. I didn't think about it. All right, so let's get started with these flower petals. They're going to be white. And the reason why I put acetone in my monomer is because the acrylic takes a while to dry, even though my heater is on right now, but I want it to dry fast. Fast as fuck, yo. Is a soft setting monomer super odorless? Mm, I don't think it's super odorless. Like, you could smell it, but... Um, one of my followers, well, a few of my followers say that it's low odor, but it all depends on your, on your nose, you know? I personally don't really smell it, but yo ya estoy curtida la verga, I don't smell shit no more. I'm just kidding, I do smell. Whenever I say that I don't, I do, but I just say that because it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. ¿Cómo va la canción de la pinche Cardi B? Alright, her acrylic is low odor. I was shook it. Oh, you mean the manama, honey? The manama? The manama. Hi, Queen of Bling Nails. How are you? Welcome, welcome. You know who's missing? Boogie. She didn't come yet, huh? Um, I don't know where Portia's at. I haven't seen her in a while. I'm good. How are you, my love? We're doing good. Even better now that we have a nice color on the nails. Not a, a toxic color. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be able to survive here with these fucking nails that are curve curve, But we going to try it. We going to try it. Zule, can I add things to my order? Sorry, your order's been shipped. Eh, just kidding. Um, what you want to add, honey? What you want to add? What you want to add? Sometimes in the past, she told me that she would erase the app, like TikTok. So maybe she doesn't have TikTok app right now. 
Hey, Zuley. Hey. Hey. Oh, you want to add this 3D brush? Oh, well, send me a text message, Stacy. When I said, hey, hey, it reminded me of something, but I don't remember if it was iCarly. Did they do that before in iCarly? Okay, let me fix my little petal. Lenny, don't start even, don't even start barking. This is so cute. I used to do these nails, ooh, back in the day, back in the day when I was younger. Zule, how old are you? Um, I'm 31. Didn't want to say it out loud, but I'm 31. I'm 31. Tear. So, I ended up putting these fucking flowers here. Um directly on the nail tip so that i can cover it you know you gotta think in advance when you guys are doing flowers to hide it a little bit now this petal is not gonna be looking all that cute because it's bumping into the next one but it's okay it's okay honey you are younger oh okay thank god but i feel like a total senora there's nothing wrong with being a senora bitches because y'all gonna come for me I give up. I can find cover salmon. You have to go to acrylics, not glitter acrylics, just acrylics. And it, it's under a category where it says new cover acrylics. Zule, how's Nutella? She's doing good. She there, she there. I'm a senora, senora life. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with being a senora. Zule, that's not old. You're making us... Making some of us dinosaurs. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I said I feel like my body. My body, my brain feels older. It's like they say you're as old as you feel. So I may be 31, but I feel older. But I think I feel older because I had my son young. You know, I was a freaking... I was a teenage mother. I was a baby with a baby. So technically, he's my brother. E you feel young when you're in Mexico? Pinche Zuleya nos dijo viejas, no fixing it. I did not. I did not say that. Stop. Stop it. Um, when I had Patrick, I was 16. I had just turned 16. So I turned 16 in January and I had Patrick in March. Like Patrick says, it's not a flex. It's not. And I'm like, homie, it's a flex, okay? Because I finished I finish school, homie. That's not something that's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to do when you a uh, a uh, single mom. I finish. I finished high school. I went to community college, bitch. I didn't go to no four-year college because school ain't for me. But if it was for me, I would have done that too. But, bitch. Okay, so this one, I think I'm going to do four petals. Fuck it. Thug life. I'm going to just do four. It was in for me. Like, sometimes I want to go back to school, but uh, just thinking about homework is like, fuck my life. Mejor no. Mejor no. All right, so I'm just waiting for my acrylic to dry a little bit because it be taking a little while. 
And my petals are not coming out that cute. Because I'm over here trying to rush it and shit. So, are you watching Super Bowl? Mm, no, ma'am. I do not like Super Bowl. I'm going to be having my class. So, I didn't know that I'm having my class the day of the Super Bowl. That is so funny. I do not watch sports. I do not care for sports. I always work. In the past, I've always worked on Super Bowl Sunday. Oh, that's you at school? Mm -mm -mm. I do not. I do not like school. So I'm so crazy. I do not like school so much that when I was in community college, I would take math and my English classes in the winter. In the winter or the summer sessions, like I would be stressed out for like two months, but then I'll be done with it. I was like, I cannot do this for like a semester. I just could not handle school like that. Like, props to y'all who like school, but not do late, honey. Uh-uh. I just finished real estate. Ooh, cool. My hubby wants to do that, too, actually. So, for real estate, do you have to... You, obviously, you have to take classes in school, but, like, to get your license, you take a test or what? I have to decide watch Super Bowl or Zule's class. Damn, I can't believe you've been deciding, girl. You could always watch it on fucking on the TV and then YouTube later. You don't want to hang out with us? I thought online class was the 13th. No, it's the 12th. Right? I think that's whatever. Yeah, it's the 12th. It's a Sunday. Decision, nah, ya, you know what? Ya no te quiero dar luna, porque no vas a estar poniendo atención. Ya no te queremos, ya no, 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 no. Hi, Boogie, we were just looking for you. No, 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 el coconal, coconal. Are all the class free? No, ma'am, this is free right now, but the class is not free. It's almost free, but not free, free. Um, The information for the class is here on my TikTok. You guys can find, find it on my profile, and you guys can find it on my Instagram, just in case you want to go look, because I don't like to repeat myself over and over again. Nah, just kidding. I don't mind repeating myself, but I feel like I don't want to bore people about a class when you guys can go look at the flyer, you know? Está bien. No me gusta el Super Bowl either. It's boring. I just go for the food. Fuck. Ah, entonces te ibas a ir de party. Ah, okay. Entonces ya sé por qué you didn't choose me right away. Girl, this set. This set is going to be looking so cute. And... Just in case you guys don't know how to do encapsulated flowers or whatever, you guys could do this on top of the nails too. It doesn't have to be encapsulated. But Zule wants to do something slightly different. And the beer. Super Bowl is the 12th, not the 18th. Yeah, my flowers aren't the best right now. This is not the best work. You should at least pause your class to watch Rihanna for real. What time is that going to be? Halftime? Well, my class starts at 4. What time is halftime normally? I could always watch that in YouTube. Normally, what time is halftime? I don't know how long a football team... I don't know how long, Um, I mean, a football game lasts. I have no idea. No idea. Don't watch me neither. I'm taking a restroom break during halftime. <laughs> like teacher, necesito que cagar teacher, teacher. Thirty minutes for Super Bowl <laughs> halftime. No, 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 no. But like in between, like it depends. How long does a Super Bowl last? Like two hours, one hour, three hours. 
I hope my frat pays here. I hope my frat pays here. Each quarter is about 30 to 40 minutes. Ah, uh, okay. So, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll be done by the class. Three hours? Ooh, ooh, hell no. I'd rather be working. The Super Bowl commercials are fun as fuck. Well, I don't know. I don't really like to watch TV. The game starts at 3.30. 3.30 California time? It starts after the second quarter. Ah, okay. Wait, I thought the Super Bowl was around Thanksgiving. No, girl. No tienes marido que, amiga. The Super Bowl is in Feb. Second weekend. Second weekend, honey. Second weekend. And I only know that because I was told yesterday. Like, your classes are the Super Bowl? He was like, I'm going to be screaming. They're all going to hear me. I'm like, well... You better keep it down. Or te mando con el vecino. What's the code for tonight? Um, It is golf. Golf? Two. Golf? Two. Fuck, I'm gonna turn on the heater again, bitch. I'm fucking... I'm fucking sweating bullets. Zule, what team does your husband like? Uh... Football team? He likes the New York Jets. My man into sports is un... Is, it's annoying. I know. I hate when people yell. Like, oh, I don't like that. It annoys me. So any type of sport, when people are yelling for the team, like, they're yelling at the TV, like, motherfucker, go that way. Or no, no, no. I hate that shit. I just want to slap whoever's yelling. Is like, bitch, bitch, get out of my fucking way because you're going to get smacked. Like, it irritates me so much. Because it's not like they can hear you, bitch. They can't fucking hear you. Or like, or like, how to call it, um, even in, in real life. Like, you go to a kid's soccer game or something, yeah, están gritándole. Oh, I hate that shit. It annoys me. I wonder if I should put a little flitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I'm going to put a little flitter. Like, I, mm -mm. like, just don't invite me. Do not invite me because I'm not going to have a good time. I get into the game. Well, because you like it. I don't. Like, I do not like that. But everybody's different. I hate that shit. Alright, I'll put a little bit of glitter in. Like little peekaboos. Like I remember I used to take Patrick to basketball when he was little. Oh my god. I was like, could this game be over already? Aparte de que mi chiquillo valía pura verga. No sabía jugar. I'm like, que vergüenza, wey. Like fucking Patrick was hilarious. Like he'd be jumping, jumping in the court. He was like in kindergarten. He didn't know what the fuck he was doing. Like all his fucking team was chasing the ball and he was just in the middle. In the middle. And I'm like, niño, ¿vas a jugar? ¿Vas a jugar o pa que te traje a la verga? But you know what? Patrick is not a sports kid. He got it from his mama. He's not into sports. He is into art. He's an artist. He's an artist. What do you think? Who do you think will win the Super Bowl? Girl, I don't even know who the hell is playing. I don't know, but whenever I used to play with my brother, like that football fucking game, I used to always pick the Packers. And that's the only team I know. I used to pick the Packers because my favorite color was yellow. That's the only reason. That's the only reason. So, yeah. A little bit of flitter in my life. Oh, shit. I just dropped all the balls. 
Don't drop that dun, dun, dun. Chiefs, of course. I'm from Kansas City. Oh, they're the ones I want today, huh? What's your favorite color now? Pink? No. Well, I do like pink. I do. I do. I like pink because it's really girly. But I love yellow. I love yellow. I just don't wear it as much. But I love yellow. So you guys will catch me with a lot of yellow nails as well. I'm just going to do some little dots in between just to give it some something in between. Oh, they won yesterday. It wasn't today? Girl, I don't even know what day I'm in. I just remember having to watch that. When the guy was crying, we were ha we were eating something and that one guy who dropped a bar or something or threw it or whatever, he was fucking crying. Because they lost the game. Yo creo que ya llegó. Ya llegó. Ya llegó. Ya llegó. Ni, 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 ni. Mm -hmm. I feel like I want to add a ball to that flower. Like to the little dots I made. Ah, oh, shit. It didn't stay. What the hell, bitch? Stay in there. What the hell, mean? What the hell? You little bitch. Back in the day, when I started doing nail, oh my god. We used to put um bling bling and acrylic. We used to stab the bling bling and acrylic. Hi Patrick. Patrick. Hello. Who the fuck is it? the hell open my door oh que la verga no se mete wey no se mete I don't know who I think it was my mom actually it's like a little donut yeah so when I started to do nails that was a thing where we would put the little diamond inside the wet acrylic like this it was a it was a little vibe Bitch. Does I wanna fucking stay? I'm a badass bitch. Bitch, bitch. Your nails look beautiful. Thank you. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh well. Okay. Maybe I should give the flowers a little color, huh? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see if I have an orange gel. Or I could tint. Oh, shit. They're looking so cute, Zule. All right, let me try this. All right, I'm going to use my gel polish number two. This one is a jelly orange. Look at it. It's kind of bright, so... I'm going to use a little, a little brush to kind of brush it on. Um, Let's see. Let's see if this works. Hopefully I don't fuck it up. I'm just going to paint a little bit of the inside.
What made you decide to name your son Patrick? You know what? No, 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 no orange. No, delay. Don't do it. Don't do it. Take it off. Um, so my son was born on St. Patrick's Day. He was born on St. Patrick's Day. And there was a guy in high school that was named Patrick. And I always kind of liked that name. Like, I didn't like him. So don't think I had a crush on him. Um, so that's where I got the idea. Like, oh, well, maybe I could do Patrick. And just the name is pretty. Um, but, oh, shit. More than anything, the reason why he was born, I mean, named Patrick was because he was born on St. Patrick's Day. All right, let me encapsulate the nail. I'm going to need a, a big brush. So just in case you guys were curious, that's the reason. What is the reason? Tell me what is the reason? That was the reason. All right, let me get my, my, my brush. Was he in the football team at Garfield? Yeah, he was. I think he was the only fucking Patrick I knew. So I was like, eh, okay. I like I like that name. It's cute. There's not a lot of Patricks. So I'm just gonna apply it a little wet so it could go into every little crevice. So whenever you guys are encapsulating um, flowers, just make sure they're wet, wet, and it goes in there, in there, in every little crevice, and then you can go in and give it the thickness. Is is wait, wait, wait. My friend went to Roosevelt. I went to Roosevelt too. I went to Garfield and to Roosevelt. But I went to Garfield first. And then I got kicked out. And then I graduated from Roosevelt. That's when I'm due. When? In March? I was My due date for Patrick was March 11th. And I had him until the 17th. So they say that boys kind of cook a little longer. Yeah, I got kicked out. I was not that, um, I was not an angel. Oh my Lord. If only I could show you guys this fucking video on Snapchat had me rolling. Yeah, it's a small world. Um, let's see what I graduated from Roosevelt except in Hawaii. Really? How cool. Alright, hold on. Let me get this little corner over here. My birthday's March 10th. Ooh, happy early birthday. Cook a little longer. Yeah, he cooked. He was well done. Well done, boy. He stayed an extra week. So you guys want to know something kind of funny? Well, it was not really funny. So, because I was I was pregnant in high school, right? Hold on, let me make sure everything's covered before I go in thicker. Um, I was pregnant in high school. So, look, let me tell you guys story time. So, I was a little bad girl. Well, I wasn't really bad. I just pretended because I wanted attention or some shit. I was like a little wannabe little Shalita. Um, so in ninth grade, I used to tag, yes, bitch, I used to tag walls, I used to pretend to have this attitude, I didn't really have an attitude, I just was like, bitch, I'm gonna pretend to be looking mean, so people don't fuck with me, because, you know, high school's kind of crazy, and just my brother used to be a fucking gangster, so I was like, I'm gonna be the same, I'm gonna be a gangster too, or whatever, so whatever, I used to tag and that was one of the reasons why I almost got kicked out a few times because um, they caught me tagging. And one of the times I was going to go get in a fight and they stopped like they caught us before. But the reason why I ended up getting 
kicked out. So they tried to kick me out a few times, but they were not successful. Um, and how to call it. So finally, they're like, oh, we could finally get rid of her. This girl, they, her name was, I don't fucking remember what her name was actually. So it all started with our nickname Troubles. My nickname was Troubles with a Z bitch. And so somebody was like, oh, this girl, she she's calling herself Troubles. But the girls were like fucking pendejitas. Like, no mames, girl. You trying to fucking be a tiger in a crew, but you look like a fucking pendejota vibes. So, según yo, I was over here trying to defend defend this fucking nickname. Like, uh-uh, no pendejita. No pendejita gonna have this nickname. Troubles, bitch? Nah, you need to look like trouble. If you're gonna have this nickname, you can be looking like a pendejita. So anyway, I, I, your my dumbass goes up to her and tells her like, you better fucking change your name because I'm troubles and da 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 da. I don't even know what the fuck I told this bitch. Long story short, I was like fucking harassing her at that point. I feel like I went to her class and I was talking shit and. I don't even know what I was thinking. Like, bitch, who the fuck is fighting for her name? Like, what the hell? So, anyway, one of her friends. So, on sixth period, this was their lunch. In sixth period, one of her friends, which I don't think she was there either. But one of her friends decides to jump my friend. And we were walking to our our passing period. To sixth period. And out of nowhere, my friend was not a chola or nothing like that. I don't even know if they had previous beef. I have no idea until this day. I had, I don't know. So her friend decides to jump on the back of my friend. So my friend used to be kind of thick, like a big girl. And this girl that jumped on her was a fucking twig. So I'm over here like shook it, you know, like, what the fuck is wrong with this stupid bitch? You're going to get her ass fucked up. They had her like a rag doll bitch, like flying everywhere because who jumps on people's back? Like, girl, get the fuck out of there. But everything happened so fucking fast. And then her friend, I don't even know where they popped out of, but then her other friend. So when I was in high school, I was not chunky. I was kind of like thick, but not really. So how to call it? Um, Her friend, she was chunky. And she decides to get on my back. Like, what the hell? What's up with these bitches trying to write us or some shit? I don't fucking know. Um, How to call it? So, yeah, she dropped me to my knees. I couldn't see my friend. But she was over here handling this fucking girl on her fucking back. And out of nowhere, my sister pops out. of Like, she's coming down some stairs. And she gets the bitch that was on my back. And mind you, during this time when we were... This was happening. I was already pregnant with Patrick, but I did not know that I was pregnant. So my sister was always a little weenie. She would never fight nobody. She would stay quiet, right? So we feel, now that we're adults, we feel that it's like if she had an instinct, like a twin instinct or whatever to defend me and Patrick, you know, because um, this girl had jumped on my back so she dropped me to like my knees and shit and how to call it um um what is it called so yeah that happened and i was like what the hell Raina, back me up what the fuck so she and to top it all off this girl the one that was like on my back was supposedly my sister's friend she wasn't really her friend friend like besties friends but they knew each other so i was over here like okay girl you fucking that bitch up fuck yeah fuck that whore whatever anyway it didn't last long just like a couple seconds because there was already like securities there the the school securities were like right there like in 30 seconds or less and they broke everybody up as soon as i was trying to get up from my knees because again it was a passing period so how to call it um there was a lot of fucking people in the halls 
how they call it um they separated them reyna walked into her class and acted like she wasn't even a part of it type of shit but they ended up writing her out and they took us to the fucking dean's office and shit like that um and long story short my mom fucking comes so embarrassing like she's that typical mom you're embarrassed to show up at your school because Qué vergüenza, no puedo creer que estabas pensando and shit like that, right? She tell me, I'm like, mm. and at this point, I'm the only one that's getting in trouble and yelled at. I'm the only one that's getting yelled at because my sister was a slick ass bitch and just fucking walked into her class. And um, we're walking on our way home when they call my mom telling her that her other daughter was also suspended because Raina was always a little angel the good one and I was a great great one so then I was like hey bitch oh con la chancla for real so anyway they suspended us all for a few days I can't remember how many days it was but of all of all of us that were involved I was the only one who got kicked out of the school and I didn't even hit nobody but I wasn't an angel. I was over here harassing bitches during the day. So, and then I also had it coming because for a long time they wanted to kick me out already. But they just didn't have the proof. So, actually, one of the times when they had proof, the, the, the fucking, the auditorium caught on fire. So, if you guys don't live here in California, you guys probably didn't know this, but... Um, in Garfield, Garfield High School, when I was in ninth grade, the auditorium built, I mean, the auditorium got burned and the auditorium was in the main building with like the office and all of that. So all this shit fucking burned. And my friends were like, Zule, did you fucking burn it? I'm like, no, bitch, the fuck? I would never do that. It was the weekend after the, like when I got caught with like my spray can and shit like that. So they were going to kick me out and I got safe, safe by the bail. And so this time that I really didn't really do much, like literally physically, I didn't do nothing. I got kicked out and then I got sent to Roosevelt. Um, This was in 2006 or seven because I graduated eighth grade in 2006. And so they sent me to Roosevelt High School and I finished school over there so i was like bitch i'm gonna be a fucking i'm gonna be a fucking loner i don't fucking know nobody but best believe girl i have friends i was like girlfriend so long story short um we used to live in boyle heights when we were little so we went to a elementary school around this school that i got kicked out to so I was like, man, I'm not going to know nobody, but I did. So I was over here trying to keep up my Cholita, my Cholita vibes. But you know what? After I had Patrick, I changed. Like I was no longer a little Cholita vibes. I was, I would change completely. It's like nobody's a Chola no more. Nazule having another crew. For real. I hung out with bitches that were hardcore a little bit. I was like, girl, y'all do too scary shit for me. I'm on here just playing. I know you're not into sports, but who do you cheer for in the classic? Um, I would cheer for both, but I stopped going to them. So when I was in, I forgot what grade I was in. I went to both. I went to both sides. But for some reason, whatever side I will go to, they would always lose. So I was like, ooh. <sighs> yeah. So that's my story. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, I was telling you guys on my son's story, right? And, and wait, what was more of the story? Oh, yeah. So I, I ended up going to this new school, right? Yeah, I went to this new school. I went to Roosevelt. And this was around like October, October. And I only remember this because I would wear big ass hoodies and I didn't know I was pregnant. I still didn't know I was pregnant. I didn't find out that I was pregnant until I was almost seven months, bitch. 
I was almost seven months. So I ended up going to 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 um Christmas break. I went on Christmas break. Everybody went to Christmas break. And I remember this girl was like, are you pregnant? And I'm like, no, girl. It's just the way I was standing. And then when I come back, they ended up. So I used to be in the police explorers to like, bitch, what the hell? How did you end up there, Zule? You over here, Cholita, and you're in the police explorers, bitch, please. So my sister always wanted to be a cop, supposedly, when she was younger. Um, she wanted to be a cop or she thought she did or whatever. And so she joined the police explorers. And because wherever Raina went, if she had to do some type of shit, I had to stay with her, honey. So I ended up having to join the fucking police explorers too, bitch. And I'm over here like huffing and puffing because they will make you fucking run a shitload. And they kind of noticed, like, I guess that I was pregnant or something. But I didn't even know I was fucking pregnant. So they asked Raina, is your sister pregnant? And bitch, I was a virgin, okay? All I knew it was I was a virgin. My sister knew I was a virgin. That's all that was happening. And so she was like, no. And they kind of scared me a little bit to go into the doctor. They told my mom to take me to the doctor. And so embarrassing because they took my ass to the doctor. And the first thing the girl in the front asked was like, do you need a pregnancy test? And I was like, no, I'm a virgin. Virgin my ass. She was hella pregnant. She was almost seven months pregnant. So this was January 2nd. January 2nd when they told me I was pregnant. I was like, <gasps> what? What, honey? Like, what do you mean pregnant, bitch? Don't you need to have sexual intercourse? <laughs> and I was like, girl, oh my God, who is their daddy? Nah, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. So I was like, oh my God. No, I didn't feel him moving. Well, I, didn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't tell. You know your fucking tripas be moving. So I was like, <gasps> Trágame pinche tierra. Like, what am I gonna do, bitch? Like, I was so shocked. I was like, oh, my Lord. So, that was in January. And then, so technically, technically, I was only pregnant for like two months because then Patrick popped out in two months. I was like, mm, yeah. Like, my mom used to tell me, si comes like junk food, te va a salir una lombriz. Shit, I thought that's all I had a lombriz, bitch. And I had a fucking whole ass baby. So I didn't really have a stomach. I used to still run. I used to do a lot of things. I used to jump fences, bitch. I did all kinds of shit while I was pregnant because I didn't fucking know. And then boom, pregnant. I found that I was pregnant and all of a sudden the belly grew. But yeah, um, I was like, what am I going to name him? What am I going to name him? And so Raina, my sister, kind of helped. I mean, Raina, my cousin, kind of helped. And I was like, oh, my God, Becky. Look at her butt. Yeah, I was jumping fences, ditching, going to Taco Bell for fucking lunch. Literally, I was. I'm not joking. How did you not know, girl? Like I said in the beginning of the live, I've never been regular on the period. Never since I started to um, like have periods when I was younger. It's always been super irregular. So best story ever. How many months you found out the gender? Girl, my son was already popping out. He was popping out. Patrick had a mustache and you didn't even. For real, mean? Where's Patrick dad a cholo too? No, he was not a cholo, but he was a tagger. That's actually how I kind of like got attracted. Like, ooh, mijo. <laughs> I was the one who reached out to him, actually. I was a little hoe. Eh, just kidding. I was not a hoe. But I did tell my friend, like, damn, who did? And then I was whistling at them and shit, and bitch. That's why I don't whistle on nobody. No, Mo. Didn't you have any? No, I did not have any symptoms, actually. 
um, my sister, I have a twin sister, so she was the one who would feel cravings and things like that. Tiger, Patrick, Daddy, and Chola Zule. Hiona. A whole lot of fun. And the little she So glad I can't get pregnant. I did so much bullshit in high school. Damn. Well, you know what? Patrick has been the best thing that ever happened to me, to be honest. That's crazy. My brother and stepdad were the ones craving. Yeah, it's crazy, huh? Pregnancies work. Zule, what's a chulo and a chula? That means like a cutie. A chulo is a cutie, like a boy cutie. And a cho chula is a girl cutie. Yeah, Patrick is a great kid. I'm grateful for Patrick to coming into my life because, girl... I feel he transformed my life literally because, you know, like I just said, I was a little wanna be cholita. Like everything truly happens for a reason. Oh shit. Like when I used to be in Garfield, like if I would have stayed there, who knows what my life would have been like because that's where I will get in trouble, bitch. And then too, like the guys there, when I will go like meet up my sister, they'll be like talking shit and stuff. They would talk shit like you don't even know who the dad is and da, 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 da. and I had to go up to a few of them like bitch don't be talking shit motherfucker because your ass gonna get popped. Like I had fucking punched the guy in the fucking face in front of everybody because he had got me mad like bitch you wanna be next because I'll fucking embarrass your ass in front of your homie right here. Don't fucking test me. So he shut the fuck up and I was like nah honey. I used to be a little wild child. Girl, was your mom mad? Um, to be honest, I don't think so. My mom loves kids. Hold on, let me um get my sanding man to file the sides. Um, no, my mom loves kids, so she was like happy to know that. She was happy to know that she was going to be a grandma, I feel. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I think she was a little disappointed, but more happy than anything. She was like, ¿Con quién te costaste? I'm like, ¿Con nadie? The one that didn't really take it very well was my dad. My dad and Reina. I got... Prego all late. I'd be considered old at that point. What do you mean? How old were you? My parents didn't find out I was pregnant till eight months. Damn, girl. You hid it more than I did. Well, technically, I didn't really hide it because I didn't know. Um, Zule, why did his dad want to be in his life? What? Why did his dad want to be or not? How old were you when you got pregnant? I was fifth, technically 15, I guess you can say. I was skin Oh, why did he not want to? I think he was mostly afraid of my brother. Because my brother was a cholo, like literally from a gang. So he was scared of him. And he told me to. He was like, I want to be with somebody that I love. And I don't know what. And I was like, bitch, get the fuck out of here with that shit. And like, I ain't trying to fucking marry your dumb ass either. But I told myself, like, I ain't going to beg no motherfucker to fucking be with me. Like, I bet you probably now he'll be like, I wish I was with that bitch or whatever. Like, bitch, bye. But like I said... Everything happens for a reason. I feel like I was not meant to be with that person. Like, the person I was meant to be with is with my man because he is totally different, bitch. He is a nerd. He treats me nice. It's the best thing that could ever happen. So, if you guys ever have a fucking kid or boy or man that's trying to get at you, but he too nerdy for you and you're like, you ain't my type. 
no bitch you do not know what your type is you are choosing the wrong people that's why you not happy still because you need to give what's not your type a chance and you will know that you have been choosing the wrong type for a long time like like people think it's all about looks and shit like that it's like no bitch it ain't about the looks i'd rather be with a ugly person a fat person a, a whatever nerdy person or whatever it is they are than a cute person because they're fucking assholes. They're assholes to the max. Not all of them, but majority of them are. My husband is the opposite of what I was dating. For real, man. Zule living the good life. Amen. How did you meet your hubby? I met him at a, my job. I used to work at Jack in a Box. Literally, all the girls just get with these guys who make them happy and they're miserable. Hmm? What do you mean? My man is not what I used to. Yeah. It's all about the package underneath. Eh, just kidding. No, it's all about the heart, man. Like, I remember when I got with my man, I'm like an inch or two taller than him. Some stupid bitches and his job would be like, you're not... You don't feel weird that your girlfriend is bigger than you? Like, bitch, bigger than you as in height or thick? Because it doesn't fucking matter. Like, who gives a fuck? How? How are you fucking jealous perras, malditas? They wish they had a man like mine. That could spoil them and shit. I ain't never did anyone been alone for 31 years. Probably gonna die that way. Shut up. You probably just hoeing around. That's why you ain't dating. Just joined these curves too from Zule Shop. Yeah. These are the 5XL square curve. Oh, yeah. So, I was telling you guys the story of how I met him. So, I met him working at Jack in a Box. Um, he already worked there when I went to apply. And he was the one who actually gave me my application. He says I started flirting with him since day one. But I probably just did it to get the job. Low key like. Or whatever. So yeah. We became really good friends. Because he is funny. He is really funny. He was a really big flirt. And so was I. But. Little by little. You know what they say. They your friends first and then they your your fucking best your your hubbies or whatever. Um and so we were friends for a year until we started like dating and stuff. I was like, fuck it, because everybody already thinks you're fucking my man. Might as well just give you a chance. But I was like, oh, I, I don't do nerds. I never done that before. I never done people that are shorter than me either. Or whatever, right? I would always be with like a tall guy, a bad boy or something. But I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Maybe it's time for some change. And then by then, Patrick really liked him too. So I was like, fine. I'm like, fine. Let's ch check this out. My hubs was my friend first. Yeah. Most of the time, you don't want to make them your your friends. Because then, if your relationship fails, it's like, ooh, bitch, I, I just lost a friend. But it doesn't always happen like that. So, yeah, I'm so glad I stepped into that jack-in-the-box and asked for an application. Because that was the best. That was a... That's when my life started to become fun. We used to fuck around so much. We skipped the friend stage. Okay, you guys went just all in, huh? Like, fuck it, fuck it. Nah, I used to play hard to get. I was like, fuck that. I ain't trying to get pregnant again. Like, it's so funny. So, let me show you guys another story since estamos aquí chismeando the stories. So, I don't remember if I was really out of high school or what. But the point was that there was this one guy. Yeah, I was out of high school because I used to work at Jack's. 
this guy tried to like get at me right a lot back then i used to be like extra cute honey if you thought i was cute now nah just kidding yeah tengo pinches lonjas all over but back then i was cute i had like these nice perky boobies i didn't have a ass but it looked like something back there um i had cute little eyes and slick hair or whatever everybody be trying to get at me and shit and i was like boy bye so how to call it um I would always be playing hard to get because I was like, fuck that, I ain't gonna get pregnant. So I went to hang out with this guy, right? Tell me why he takes me to a fucking park to park in the parking lot. And I'm over here like, what are we doing here, you know? In this motherfucker talking about my la verga o algo, yo que sé. I don't know, but I didn't do that before. So I was like, um, okay, so we're just gonna sit here and watch people at the park. Like, what exactly are we doing here? But I didn't want to ask. But then he looked disappointed. Because <laughs> I was not a hoe. And I was like, boy, bye. Get out of here. Like, no, ma no, sir. You're not getting nothing out of me. Felicia, you didn't even take me to lunch. Had to fucking buy my own food. Like, get out of here. Get out of here. It's like, boy... Like, the looks is not everything, you know. That's not going to feed this belly. <sighs> like, uh-uh. Like, you think you're all that in a bag of chips? No, sir. No, sir, you ain't. I used to call my husband Primo because two of my uncles got married with his primas. Oh, Lord. Be like, you keep it in the family, amiga? It's so annoying when dudes think you could just give them chupi chupi like no like for real like boy you gotta fucking earn this shit the fuck how like you want me to give you what I just made you the fuck life is at twenty percent and it's getting good yeah so that's my story let me think if I have any other story. Um, yes, these nail tips are the 5XL square curve tips. I haven't told you guys a story, story time like this in a while, huh? Yeah, boy, I better at least you have a taco on you before I put out. Huh? <laughs> chupi chupi are hard to give to the hell. Gotta earn it. You know how much practice that took? The hell? Like, first you're trying to kill me. Second, you didn't feed me the fuck. Uh uh. Like, uh uh, uh uh. Like, tú crees que me vas a dar un pinche car ride y ya estuvo? Como que no, mejor llévame a Disney pa' eso, la verga. Paseame, paseame. Alright, let's see. He didn't even buy you nail products. No, I didn't even know nails back then. I didn't think about nails. I'll be shopping this week. Okay, girl. Alright, let me put on my on-point disc. Let me put my... Lenny over here fucking weak. Homegirl, you've been on YouTube Live. Homegirl, you've been on... Yes, ma'am. I, I don't do a lot of YouTube lives, but I have been in YouTube lives before. Did your hubby adopt Patrick? Not yet. He's been saying he wants to, but he hasn't done it yet. Um, yes, this disc is available on the website. At this point, he adopted already. She. We adopted him. We adopted the hubby. All right, so let me. So my thumb totally looks um super skinny because it didn't fit. This is not the correct size tip for this nail. It's fucking expensive. Oh yeah, to adopt. Maybe that's why he never did it, huh? Cause he's like, no tengo money. 
was the disc for its to what happened with the black seal? We took it off. No ha llegado el frappuccino girl, no hombre. Oh, he did. So I've seen with lot. Do you file fours or clients? What? I am filing forward. That's so sweet. We love hubby. Mm -hmm. We sure do. He's our best friend and our husband and my assistant and my manager and everything. My hubby has been my son's dad since he was born. Ah. I told my man, I'm like, dude, if I would have met you in high school, we could have not been friends. That's why I met him after. Because you know how I was telling you guys that I was a little wild, wild? So, my my personality, my... Well, not my personality, but my point of view, my all of that shit changed it at Roosevelt. Like, little by little, I started to change. So, I met him when I met him at the right time. Okay, hold on. These nails are kind of hard to file. Hold on. Let me... All right, hold on, guys. Please wait on me. It was meant to be, definitely. Did I file this little edge? Are you in Cali? Yes, ma'am. Do you think it's easy to file with that drill bit? Yes, it is. It takes a little practice because at first I used to be like, ooh, 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 ooh. But yes, it is fairly easy. I recommend it. Um, what does a drill bit do? It just helps you kind of file the tip and the sides. Depending on the shape is when I use it. But I really, really like it for the tips. Because when I do my own nails, I can't really file my own tips. I could, but I struggle a lot. Thank you, porque I do my own nails. I burnt myself. Yeah, you have to be careful. I've burnt myself before, too. Let's see, what time is it? Oh, it's 922. Patrick! Will you try duck nails? Um, I think this is the closest to duck that I will go, to be honest. Like, I feel like they're kind of white at the tips, but, um, it's okay. Like, these are only for, like, a few days. Yeah, my fingers are sore as fuck filing my own nails. Yeah, when you file them a lot, they do get sore. My fingers don't really get sore. They're used to that shit. Girl, when doing an ombre, do you do the dark color first? Um, yes, you do do the darkest color first. Sorry, I had to think about that for a second. All right. Oh, my God. This shape is looking snatched, honey. Do the ducky. No, 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 no puedo, no puedo. All right. So I have to file the side on this one a little bit because it's a little, a little fat, fat. I cannot join the ducky club. I am sorry. I wouldn't even know how to file those nails. I always cut my cuticles, but never come up cr close to a client. It's so hard to do yourself. Mm -hmm. It is really hard to do your own nails. I always cut myself too when I'm taking off my nails though. It's a no for me. Do the duckies and the fake hand. Yeah, I could probably do it on my fake hand. Or maybe I'll try it one day. Who knows? Suley, compré el glue de las piedras, pero no me salió bueno. Y no seca rápido. Está chicloso. Beauty. Beauty. Um, si lo estás usando sobre gel, no se va a secar rápido. Ahorita con el frío se tarda en secar, amiga. Tienes que mezclarlo bien, como shake it. 
shake it, shake it, shake it. Y luego usar el activador porque ahorita no se seca muy fast. Ok, hay que buff, buff, buff. Let's put the nails. Ah, ok, eso haré. Uh -huh. Tú agítalo así, like shake it, shake it, shake it. O ábrelo y mezclealo con la brocha porque cuando va de caliente a frío, caliente a frío. Es cuando se hace medio chiclosito. Um, I do ship to Canada and to the UK, but that's it. Um, do you have favorite sets you've done? I can't remember what I do, to be honest. Like, I forget the sets I do. Like, I love all my bling sets. Zule, you're the only one I see using that kind of bit. Oh, yeah. I am special. That's why. It's because a lot of people don't do their nails. Like, a lot of nail techs don't really do nails on themselves. Because it's hard to do nails with nails on. But when you like, like, like it, then you will figure it out. Like, I cannot do shit without them. My clients be like, Zule, are you okay? Hold on, let me just file this piece right here. All right, guys, hold on. I'll be back. Let me go wash my hands. And at the same time, I'm going to take Lenny to go pee outside because I think that's what he wants to do. So I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Okay? Come on, Lenny, let's take you to go pee. Alright guys, I'm back. Alrighty. My little napkin go hard. So we don't trust Lenny no more on his own, roaming around the house. Because his ass will pee all over my shit. So check it out. We like to party. Hi, Chad. Oh, my God. That is so cute, Amanda. I never seen that before. Well, I was like, what is that, honey? Look at it. They look so fucking cute. I need to take a picture. Zule, yes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, like, where's my frappe? Hold on, let me take a picture on the side because I have too much shit going on. Oh my gosh, Becky. All right. 
I need to put top coat. Go check the door. Lenny do any tricks? No, he does not do no tricks. I want to see my ring finger already. Do you guys want to see that one already? So look at it. Phew, phew. I'm going to do bling. For sure bling. I don't know if I'm going to do any more flowers. How long hubby working out, girl? I don't know. Let's see how long we've been here for. We've been here for... Let me see. It's been two hours and 40 minutes. Like, sir. Sir, are you getting a massage over there? We're getting a little concerned. All right, let's see. No podemos ser tóxicas tampoco, amigas. All right. Here's my bling box that I was looking for. Here it is, here it is. Um, everything that I'm using right now is available on my website. The link is on the bio. I'm going to use Crystal AB because um, that's the best of the best of the best. Oh, my God. I'm going to do... I already know what I'm going to do to this one. <gasps> should I make them matte or shiny? Bitch, we can fucking do matte with glitter. Um, was the best advice for somebody who's trying to open a business like mine? Um, the best advice I could give you is to just start, girl. If you want to do it, just start. And one thing also that I do want to share is do not try to be the cheapest person out there just to make a sale, okay? Because before I used to think it was possible to have a business by like, let's just say I buy something for one cookie and sell it for two cookies. There's no way in hell... Your business will stay in business like that because you have to consider there's fees for your website. There's fees for when somebody like, for example, um, when you pay with a debit card, period, there's a fee on a fee on a fee on a fee on a fee. So when you have an online store, not only do you pay your monthly thing or per transaction or whatever, but they also charge you a percentage of your sale. Zim, bitch, what happened to my glue? Look, 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 it's all crusty. So keep that in mind when you are, yeah, merchant fees. So for example, PayPal, I, and I only know PayPal because of the deposits I used to take for my clients. Um, I used to take a twenty dollar deposit, twenty cookie deposit back in the day, and for every twenty cookies, it was. 80 cents that they would charge so let's pretend let's pretend that's a hundred a hundred um a hundred fuck hold on bitch i need a fucking bling bling let's say it's a hundred cookie order how much is that eight eight cookies right that's the math eight cookies of um fee plus your shipping and all of that obviously most of the time you charge the customer the shipping but sometimes you don't charge them enough so you have to it's hard to do pricing but little by little you will get it just do not undercharge because then you also have to pay your california or your whatever state taxes you're in and then there's other things that need to be paid so just don't undercharge in whatever business you're in, whether it's online or a fucking service. Don't undercharge because it will come and bite you in the ass later. Because I used to do that before when I started. I would only charge what the product was costing me or just like a cookie more. And then little by little, I was like, bitch. Um... I can't even keep my business open like this or whatever, right? Because you have to, um, shit, I put it fucking crooked. And also, you have to see which, which website is going to work for you. Just little things. It's a little tricky at first, just like anything. But um, you'll learn the more you do things, you know? 
Because, like, even one of my clients, I mean, one of my cousins, she wants to start, like, a lash business. And I told her, I'm like, dude, I, if I could fucking do it, you could do it, too. Because yo soy bien pendeja. Like, I'm a complete ass dumbass. When I started my store, I did it for fun. I never thought it was really going to be a business. Um, I started off by selling crystals, extra crystals that I didn't really want. Like, I would buy packs of crystals, like Swarovski's. And then I will keep like a bunch. I don't even know how many I will keep. Like let's just say I would keep 500. But there was like a thousand in the pack or less. I'd only pick like fucking 50 or something. And then I'll sell the rest so that I could build my collection like that. Like I didn't really want to get profit out of it. Like that's not what I was thinking of. Um, But little by little I was like oh maybe I could get another product. or da -da 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 -da, Like that. I'm using Swarovski crystals. Okay, amigas, so we're just going to keep it kind of simple because these nails are looking pretty cute. Um, hold on. Yeah, and then what else can I tell you? Oh, yeah, llegó, ya llegó el frappe. I swear, if he didn't bring me no frappe, he ain't getting none tonight. Fuck that. I didn't wait this long for no fucking frappe. No, sir. Go back. All right, let me see. Um, what would you also recommend when... Ah, uh, shit, hold on. Let me... When it comes to shipping by weight or... Well, yeah, it goes by weight depending on what you're sending. If you're sending little things, like let's just say a file or something like that, you have to... Um, you have to weigh it. So that you know how how much how many ounces it is, but the heavier things, then you ship it in like in a what is it called in a flat rate. You don't want to overpay either for shipping for like a file. Like let's just say somebody were to order a file or some stickers or whatever, and and go with a, a oh shit. A flat rate box because that one costs like eight cookies and something like you want to be able to charge your customer cheaper for shipping so they want to come back you know but don't undercharge it either because then you're gonna be paying where's my frappe uh, uh uh no sir i don't care if they're close you're not getting nothing tonight then <laughs> i have already promised i even texted you if you still wanted it i sure answer. did you didn't answer they're over here like, where's your hubby? How long does he work out for? Mm -mm -mm. No, no. No chupi for you. Sorry. Te tienes que bañar a huevo. Pero you ain't getting nothing. Just how I didn't get nothing, you ain't getting nothing. Oh, hell no, jefe. You better go back. Mm-hmm like disappointing thank god i don't i'm not pregnant imagine i was fucking pregnant and pinche cara de frappe que le va a salir al plebe no manches nos dejaron aquí alborotadas y todo nos alborotaron las hormonas no más dile que si sí, tiene que venir con agua fría para que se le quite verdad don't mess don't mess with the coffee mm -mm -mm. I, I could have asked Patrick to make me a coffee a long time ago. Does the Zule oh shit. The Zule Bling Heaven box have those crystals? Um they don't have these exact ones because these are Swarovski. But the Zule Bling Heaven box has nice pregnant me with a cried. Um they do have some nice crystals. So, for those of you guys who are in a little budget, but still want something cute and sparkly, I recommend the Zule Bling Heaven Box. The hell? No, I'm not pregnant. I was a joke. I said if I was pregnant. 
pinche plebe saldría con frappe. Frappe face. They're telling me to chop off your, your thing. Your chile, your eggplant. Chop the eggplants, Lele. ¿Por qué no dejaste eso así? New here. What's possessed you to <laughs> do curved nails? I don't know that Mm -mm -mm. Mm, my my followers pressured me to what to do curved nails. No, no, it's because Chad is asking me that what possessed me to do curved nails, honey. Why you don't lie, honey? You you don't lie. Um, you don't like the bling bling. I mean, you don't like the curvy? Honey, honey, why you don't like? Fucking Julia be doing that shit good. No excuse, jefe. At least, oh shit, it's a little movie. No, we want some stilettos. Been a while. I was actually asking my, my Instagram, what shape should I do? And... I included stiletto and square. Oh, yeah, Julia does it good. Like, honey, honey, huh? Um, what else do you say? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can do it, but I'm like, honey. Yeah, because I'm waiting on some McDonald's right now, and it's 12 over here. For real, who wants to fucking Uber me some? Yeah, the menos que te haga una en la casa. Can you live with no cafecito for real? Where's Patrick when I need him? He's taking a shower. After I said all these good things about you, you did me dirty. I'm going to have to take it all back. I'll Uber it. Give me your address. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Over here where I live is like special hours and shit. It's closed. He told me it's closed. Fucking McDonald's closed at nine. I guess these people out here don't, don't stay up late and shit. But over there in LA, bitch, you best believe everything is 24 hours. But here in the fucking desierto, pura verga. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm using the zoo labeling and heat it. The next pony needs to be stiletto. Stiletto. It needs to be almond stiletto so they could pick. So they could fucking pick um, stiletto for sure. Because not a lot of my followers like almonds. Yeah, so the zoo labeling adhesive is the best thing in the best 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 in the whole wide world. And if you never tried it, why not, honey? Why not? Why you not lying? Literally, I think she curved ones are okay. A lot of them are to curve and give ego talent. What? Where are you living now? I live in the desert. I live in Beaumont. I live in acá en la pinche... Um, ¿cómo se dice? En el culo del diablo. Vivo en el culo del diablo, amigas. I'm thinking, should I add caviar balls? Maybe I should, huh? Just a little bit. Like, maybe like right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why, Zule, next? Stiletto, next. Oh, all right, I guess I could do the littles next. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of balls. Can you make us a coffee? A warm one? Who's us? Me and my followers. They like when I sip it on coffee. Coffee. They like when you're mm -hmm. sipping on coffee. Mm -hmm. Don't do a poll. Just do it. Just do it. Just yeah, do, do it. Poll. Just do it. Do, do it. Do it. You, you should get a coffee right now. Mom, do my nails next. Okay. Okay, Felicia. Hold on. All right, guys. We're going to vote. If you guys want me to get a coffee right now, put a happy face. 
If you don't put a crying face. No, don't lick the fucking glue, stupid. It's stupid. Look at right here. Who the fuck put no coffee? It's so late. Uh-uh, honey. Honey. We're gonna throw you away. <laughs> Look at, come on, guys. Boat, 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 boat. What? Who is putting crying face? I, on, I want on, a coffee. Faces, guys. Mm -mm. Do it for her health. Excuse me? For her health. For my mental health, no, I need... No, 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 for physical health. Look, look, look. We winning, we winning. Woo! Woo! Whoever is putting a crying face, te va a dar chorro por being a hater. Yo quiero café. Yo quiero café. Is Yeah. And if you don't know what chorro is, it's diarrhea, okay? Why you do that to me, honey? Why? Okay, I win. They put 97 to 7. I'll take my... Why, you want chorro? Chad? You want chorro? You want chorrito? Coffee is an elixir. Uh-huh. It's like, sir, not only did you play with our feelings, now you're trying to play with me again? By telling my followers to not vote for coffee. Coffee is life. Mm-hmm. I just want a regular coffee. Now. I don't need no espresso. Queremos café. Café, café. Explosive chorro. Okay, hold on. Damn it. I fucked up. He jealous because you sip coffee and not him, huh? I'm like, <laughs> like not in no, no. Like, <laughs> not in no, no. <laughs> like, bitch, that's a soup right there, not a fucking coffee. <sighs> I see a little. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like girl girlfriend I swear I don't do that noise when I'm eating soup slurping mm -hmm. I don't smell coffee oh man we got seven haters they they're not really haters they just don't want me to have coffee right now so i could sleep but you know what i still don't sleep so coffee 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 you the vacuum from the teletubbies uh-huh fuera pa los leones dun, dun, dun. do you sell those small charms oh the little gold balls yes they are called caviar balls or beads they're available on my website under um, nail decorations, I believe. Myra, what category under are they under? What's the Spanish word of the day? It's been a minute since we did it. Um, let's see. Let's make something funny. The word of the day is going to be nalga aplastada. Cara de nalga aplastada. That means your face looks like a flat ass. <laughs> like a squished ass. So whenever you guys get mad at somebody, be like, tienes cara de pinche nalga aplastada. Like you have a fucking face of a squished ass. I used to say that when I was little. Like, tú tienes una pinche cara de un huevo pelón. De una verga peluda. O oh, de something. You are too much. Only sometimes. Tienes cara de nalga peluda. Did you get a permit license? Uh, did you get a permit? For what? For what, girl? For what? A permit? There's no such thing as a permit license. It's either a license or a permit, my friend. 
Oh my gosh, Becky, Becky, look at you. Ding, 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 ding. Let's talk about how you used to type like this. Shit, I sure did. And a lot of us did too. That was the thing back in the day when we was younger. Raise your hand if you guys typed like that. All right, hold on. Let me take my bling bling. Driving license? Yeah, I I don't even know how the fuck I would save that shit on my um what is it called? On my phone. Like back then I was smarter. Like with technology now it's like girl, how do you even type? Cow. See chat, I was not the only one. I feel like when you're young, you used to do all of that. Zule, are your Saturday orders out? Um, that's a good question. I forgot what order we're working on. I want to say mm, mm, some of them because I do remember working on some Friday ones. Because Karen's was on Friday, right? You told me last time, but I forgot. Zule, what do you sell? Zule, did you sell half beads? Oh, yes. I was actually going to add those to the store today because I was planning on using them. But um, I'll add them again. I had to take them off a while back. Um, What do you think about Britney Spears being in danger? Girl, I do not follow any of that. Woo! Thank you. What about my straw? Uh, there's no more. Little black straws. There's no more. It's not even hot no more, but I thanks. Know. I was like, what the fuck? Like to do what you do. Oh, nails? Yeah, I do have a license. Mm, wait. Yeah, I have a license for nails. I went to school for it. <clears throat> That's not enough. Hubby is fired. Nah, in a way, it's better that it's not hot. Because you know how coffee be making you have fucking like chorration? What's it called? I'm sorry. You told me last time, but I forgot. It's a nail license, amiga. Or are you talking about the online business license fuck so if you're talking about the nail license you have to go to school for it if you're talking about a uh, online store license it's just called the business license it's called a business license i'll text you too so you can add the half caviar beads online business yeah, it is uh, just a business um, license. A business license. You need a business license, a seller's permit. Who's getting the chorro now? It depends on what state you're Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it all depends on where you're at is what you need. So Google. Google is your best friend to see what are the things you need to have an online business. Um, I mean, sorry for all the questions. Don't worry, girl. I'm going to send you an invoice. And just kidding. Just kidding. A ver, a ver, a ver la colita. Hay que ponerle más bolitas a esta neo. I need a fucking picture where it says, eh, just kidding. That was the closest that I could find. I got my order on Saturday. Yes, girlfriend. What what you order again? All you mostly need for online business is tax ID. And if you're smart, LLC, register your biz. Well, a tax ID is what you file your taxes with. But you still need a... Business license, my friend. That's for your state. 
your state, your city. But most of them are free depending on where you live. And if you do pay, it's not like crazy, crazy amount. Actually, no, your business license is not for the state. It's for the city you live in. If I order now, will I get it before Valentine's Day? Um, yes, you will. Um, the glue that I'm using for my bling is the Zule Bling Adhesive. Look, this one. I feel so bougie and selfish because I'm like, I'm going to use these wings on my nails and teeth. Okay, honey. Your wings or your bling? Your bling-a-ling, bling-a-ling. Ya me dio calor. Pinche. Here está prendido todavía. Oh my god, a little butterfly will look cute on these. Hold on, let me turn off the heater. Febrero is my birthday month. Yeah. All right, hold on, hold on. Thank you, um, Janie. We forget about the likes, Loki. Like, I haven't really been looking at that no more. How sturdy are the files and buffers ones I currently have? They're flimsy as fuck. How? Well, they're pretty sturdy. Look at it. These are are rougher, like tougher, like it. I I don't even want to break it, but they're pretty coarse. Not coarse, but you know, bitch. You know what I mean, bitch. You see me piling. Just buy them. They good, good. They good, 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 amiga. Trust me. We do nail. We do nail, honey. It's like, pa' que le pones pinche hombre a la verga las uñas. Hey, you gonna cover it, girl? You gonna... Girl, you never know. It's just a teaching experience here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. A ver, ¿qué más le ponemos? ¿Qué más le ponemos? I'm gonna put a little navet. Gonna make them fancy. How many clients do I do a day? I only do three. Oh, talking about clients. So on Saturday, I had my three clients, right? I only do three clients a day. They were so easy. I was like, oh my God, Zule, you're going fast, fast. I did some short nails, like super short nails. I was like done in an hour. I'm like, <gasps> Oh my god, I could actually do that? Like, what? Oh my gosh. Like, what the hell? What the hell, man? Alright, let me, let me drink a little. Who's not being friendly here? Who's not being friendly? I mean, what are you talking about? Mm hmm Mimi is definitely going to be proud of me. But you know what? I can only... I can only be fucking um, fast with the short Wankala. Wankala nail. I think the girls muted her. Oh. Yeah, I'm like, I don't fucking see nothing. Hmm, ladies, we are a friendly space here. Positive vibes only, por favor. Oh, hell yeah. My coffee tastes so good. Which one should I put? I want to do some nails with some cubes. Um, Yes, we do have some of these crystals on the website. These are under the highest quality crystals, but... We don't have too many left. Right, maybe one of these. Maybe one of these. I want coffee now. Hazte uno. Hazte uno. Or should I put one of these? That's too big. That's too big for 
for the situation right now. Or should I put a baby, a little baby in a bit? No, 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 no. I can put one of this one. Not tan chiquita tampoco, amiga. Okay. Let's put this one. A bit, a bit. All right. Ooh, honey, they looking so cute. I'm from LA. Where in LA are you live freestyle? I I work near downtown Los Angeles. Could you sleep drinking coffee? Of course. I could definitely sleep. Okay, so this one I'm not going to do nothing too crazy because I don't want to cover it up. I don't want to cover up this beautiful, beautiful little fucking thing I just worked on. The ladies are stunning. They're stunning. Thank you. I never thought I would actually like these fucking curves, but they're looking cute. Cute, cute. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm going to do a rhombus. Zule, my 11th month old said hi. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Ya habla tu bebe. Shit, Patrick didn't fucking start talking until he was like, I don't know how, how old I was like, boy. But they say that boys take a little longer to fucking, to talk, huh? Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. There you go. Zule, how are you liking these curved nails so far? I am really liking them. They actually remind me of my client that gets the curved nails. She's not going to be coming to get her nails done for a few months. So, in a way, I was like, you know what? These these are going to be for her since she can't wear nails right now. Or she's not going to have her nails done. I'm like, I'll wear them for her. I'm going to wear them for her. I'm going to wear them for the client. My eyes are fucking burning already like bitch. Bitch. You've been staring at these nails for ages. I'm going to try to put these nails up already tomorrow. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just kidding. I'm going to put the water one, the aquarium. Lenny, stop complaining. Why you fucking coming in here, honey? You're going to have pink and orange nails. Yeah. So one of my future sets, I want to do, um, I want to do, how to call it, inspired by the cup that Jenny, Janie gave me. I just want to wait until, like, mm, like, I'm for sure going to keep the nails because I want to keep those for a long time. They're going to be pink. And yellow and Hello Kitty. I've been wanting to do me some Hello Kitty nails for a, quite a while now. So those are going to be it. My favorite nails by far has to be the Marc Jacob ring finger. Wait till we put the top coat. Wait till we put the top coat. Zule, do you have a collection of those coffee cups? I do have a collection of coffee cups, actually. I do, I do. I love cups. I love them. Even though I don't get to use them all, but I try to use them here in my house. I love mugs and I love cups. I can't wait for spring nails. Me, uh, I don't really like pastels, so I don't know if I'm going to be doing those. Actually, yes, I'm going to do them for you guys. But maybe on like my fake hand. Nah, just kidding. I'll probably do unicorn nails again. I've seen the Disney ones. They're so pretty. I collect Starbucks cups. Yeah, honey. I don't really collect Starbucks cups. I just collect whatever. Whatever fits a coffee in it. Just when I went to Hawaii, I came back with two cups. Like, bitch, did you really need those cups? I was like, bitch, I need to buy something. 
Yes, unicorn. Unicorn. I love unicorn nails. Um, I think I'm gonna do me another unicorn set. Maybe not pastel, but like bright colors. I love me some Starbucks cups. Fucking balls. Relax. Relax. What are those gold dots called around the rhinestones? They are called caviar beads or caviar balls, whatever you want to call them. They're like little gold metal balls. Ah, oh, fuck. Sick, I will do Starbucks nails. Huh? That will be funny. Honey, why are you drinking? We're drinking Starbucks. We're drinking a Starbucks, honey. Wild. Oh, you have a wild collection. Ooh. All right, let's see what else we could do. I said I wouldn't do nothing too crazy, but oh, so hard not to. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Some Starbucks nails. I'd probably have to do a fucking macchiato soda. I mean, a macchiato fucking nail. A coffee? Quieres cappuccino? Quieres un frappe? Que quieres, amiga? Different drinks, huh? The nails? Like, what's your drink? Just don't tell me you want a medicine ball. Because no, ma'am. We're not doing a medicine ball on the nail. I hate those things. They look so beautiful. I think putting the little beads around the stones like that. The little balls make them pop, huh? They do, they do. I always love a little touch of gold. I feel like it just makes everything nicer. Oh, man. I did not do it correctly. All right. Ooh, let me drink some coffee. Mmm. Mmm. I'm not going to put nothing on the thumb. It could just stay like that. And just kidding. I'm just going to put like a little cuticle thing. Just the cuticle. Only because I'm not going to keep these for a long, a long time. So I don't want to put any more extra bling, you know? You know? You know, honey? You know, you know. And if you don't know, now you know. Zule, want to see your cup collection? I collect mugs. Okay. Oh, I ended up buying the cow one. Remember, Karen, when you sent me the little um. The fucking cow mug with the udders? I bought it, but Patrick or my mom fucking... <sighs> All right. Is that time where the phone is starting to die. It's okay. It's okay, guys. We're almost done. All right, let me spray my nails. I'm spraying glue activator just in case you're new. No, my road's not lagging. It's just dying. My phone is dying. All right, let's get a little, a little wipey. I'm just using a lint-free wipe. You guys can find those anywhere. The lint-free wipes and a little bit of alcohol to clean the nail residue, the bling. Any fingerprints? You know I'm going to place an udder. Ooh, girl, look at it. Ooh, la la. Oh, orange nails. Oh, orange nails. You could have added high and said, girl, I didn't even remember I had that color. You are so right. Lori, I have a question for you. Would you wear these? 
All right, so I'm going to be using my Zule Tough and Top Coat. Look, let's zoom you guys in so you guys can see. Zoom it in. Hell yeah. I dare you to do orange. Orange nail for you. Look at you. Wow. If you guys have not tried this top coat, girl, where you been at? Ew, the shine don't lie. Lori don't like orange. Yeah, she does not really care for the orange, but this year we're going to push it on to her. This is one of the reasons why I chose orange, actually, because... Um, she was saying that she she doesn't love it like that. Like, girl, what you mean, honey? You need to love the bright colors. Look at you. My fucking blings are twigs. My nails twigs. My bling is twigs. Everything. Orange is fantastic. Hold on, let me put a little bit more right here. It looks like a, I have a skinny thumb, but y'all. All right, next. Oh, you love the bright? Yeah. All right, sorry guys, let me stay in frame. I'm just running out of top coat, so I have to turn it like this. Oh my gosh, Becky. My nails are looking fucking wrinkled in this. It, that's a sign I haven't drank water, huh? Like, how would you know this is gel polish orange, huh? How would they know? I would personally only use gel polish for ombres. Not really for, like, anything else. I think I'd be afraid. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the balls just to kind of make them shiny for longer. Just a little bit. All right. Phew, phew. Fucking crusty ass fingers of mine. Zule, have you ever tried eye gel beauty? I have never tried them. Um, I think they became a thing after, after I stopped buying nail products. So when I started, I bought a lot of Mia Secret. I bought a lot of Tones. I bought a lot of Glam and Glitz. Vanessa Nails. I bought her whole ass collection because I love her shit so much. After I found her collection, to be honest, years ago, because like I mentioned in the past, there was not a lot of good products in my days. In my opinion, um, her acrylics were just fire. And not to mention, she is a small business and a Latina girl. So you best believe I was going to support my girl. So I was like, let me buy her whole ass collection. Um, and she was so nice to send me her lamp, but like you guys already know, Zule is horrible with lamps. I fuck up all my lamps, like just throw me away already. Throw me away because I leave them charging. I charge them like I forget they're charging. I plug them in to charge them. And then I feel like I beat up the battery or something. Like I overcharge it. And then it doesn't work. So that happened to my not polished lamp. Just in case you guys are wondering where it's at. I'm so mad at myself that that happened. Because I really loved it. I really, really, really like the lamp. Here in my house. To lay need a quarter lamp. Well, oh yeah, yeah. The one that I have right now, the Manny Pro one, that one is, it has a cord. It has to be plugged in at all times in order to work. But 
Um, oh, look here. Moment of truth. So during quarantine is when I use her lamp the most. And best believe I forgot that shit plugged in. And then here in my house, I, I fucked up my Kiara Sky ones too, I think. Man, I fuck everything up. I think this is the last survivor because it has to be plugged in. I'm a survivor. Oh my god, yes. I'm in love. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Love that nail. Honey, what you like with the gel? For your nail. I'm going to put some top coat on the bottom too. Just to make it shinier. Oh my lord, my fucking... Hold on, my iPad died. Give me one second. Let me log in through my phone. Oh my god, TikTok doesn't stand. TikTok. Tick 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 tick. Hold on, guys. Don't say anything. I can't see it. Oh shit! What did I do? What did I do? All right. All right, guys. Here it is. Here it is. All right, let me put top coat on the bottom. You don't have to do this, but I just want to do it because I used to do this before. Okay, honey. Okay. Let's put the shiny on the bottom. So back in the day when I used to do clear nails, I always put top coat on the bottom. To make it look more clear. You know? Look at it. Wow. Wow. Back in the day when I was younger. Pinch a top coat. I be fucking running out of top coat quickly, honey. Honey, do you sell the gold string of beads? Um, I don't sell a string. I sell a little box. You have to line them up by yourself. So I just put a little bit of glue and then put the the ball. Pinky is tiny. You think so? But yeah, we have these balls in silver, like a rose gold, copper color, and the gold. I used to hate the fucking chain. Do you chain hang loose? Does it wobble to the floor? I need to start thinking of my audio for these nails. Like, bitch, don't fucking talk to me if you got some fucking nubs. Don't talk to me, bitch. Don't talk to me, Felicia. All right, let me top coat this shit. Let me top coat. All right, let's do 90 seconds. All right, spread those fingers, honey. All right, let me read the comments really quick. Oh, shit, I touched the nail. I can't talk to you because I'm bald, though. <laughs> That's funny. Are you still selling the thinner viscosity top coat? Um, it was actually this one, but during the cold, it tends to get a little thicker. So if you have a little heater on, it thins down. Me with the nubs. They need to talk to you if they have nubs. I'm so glad I stayed until the end. It was worth it. Yes, girl. Seriously. You inspire me so much, Lay. I freaking love you. Oh, thank you, girl. We love you guys, too. I don't have nails either. Bare nails or press on. Okay, fine. I need to say something else. Um, No me hablen pobres. That's better, huh? 
I was supposed to be asleep three hours ago. Girl, I am not responsible. Okay, hold on. Somebody text me. Can play. I've rested my nails for about two weeks. Okay. Let's see. Who is texting me? Uh, okay. Okay, ma'am. Ooh, oh man, I thought they glowed for a second. Let me just cure them a little bit more just to be safe. Because, you know, these thumbs they ain't going to cure themselves. So make sure to turn your thumb in um, so the light can hit it really, really, really good. Boy, bye. Mayra. What the fuck did Mayra say? <sighs> Have you ever been to New York City girl doing nails here? You be 10 times rich. These girls spin. Nope, I've never even been to New York. Now my man saying, I see this. Mira, Efraín. Calmate, mijo. Te calmamos ahorita. Watch the lay responsibly. Like, amigo. Amigos y rivales. Te calmas o te calmo. La verga. Te calmo con un vergazo. ¿Te calmas o te calmo, eh? Tengo vergazos a morir, eh? All right, guys, hold on. Let's let it cool down. I'm soaking off ready for my next day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get my cuticle oil. Where are you at? Where are you at? I'm going to use this one. Calmate, por favor. Cálmate, Efraín. No, si no, ahorita te mando un vergazo por el teléfono. Y te lo meto en la boca, eh, para que te ajogues. Ey, es mi lago, okay, okay, okay. Ok, aquí lo espero, amiga. I think this might be my new set tomorrow. Yeah. I love the pinks, the pink side. Le va a gustar, ¿verdad que sí? ¿A quién no? Beautiful job, Zuley. Thank you. Zuley, can I have... Wait, Zuley, can I have to midnight Hawaii time to order? I'm still at work. Yes, girl, of course. We were just joking with everybody else. Close your ears, guys. So I'm just going to rub this. When are you having another scoop party? I'm not sure. This is a gel ombre? Yes, ma'am. Well, it's a gel acrylic ombre. The only thing that's gel is the orange. So rub the bling bling to take off the little wax. And any... Anything else? Oh, sorry. Damn, bitch. I look like I just ate a bowl of chicken and shit. All right, hold on. Let me turn on my lights. I, I don't have all my lights on today. Hold on, my friends. Let me put my little light over here. So you guys could see the full effect. Oh, shit. Let me get it closer. Ooh, honey. Too late. I need your acrylic brush, too. Okay, honey. You need everything, okay? You need boyfriend? Me do for you. Loving the ombre. Okay, so this is the gel that I used. Number 91. Look, you guys can see the little gel on the bottom. Yeah, 
Your favorite one is the white flowers. I knew you guys would like that. Hold on. Let me open the door for Lenny. Hold on, Lenny. Go. Go. Go, go, go. I knew you guys would like that that finger, well, that nail. I was like, you know what? I haven't done that in a long time. Is not, I mean, I like it, but I prefer them on top. But I was like, okay, Zule, it's not always what you like. So do the curve. And let me show you guys the curve side. Oh, curve. Where you at? Okay, bitch. Look, whore. Don't make me bitch slap you guys with these fucking nails because you're going to get caught the fuck up in, be in between these claws, okay? I'll cut you two chops to the fucking throat. Eee. I'm feeling myself. I honestly couldn't even pick up my pants earlier. Yes, everything that I use is available on my stores from my brand. I use the gel polish number 91 for the orange. And then we use um, screwdriver and popping bottles for the flitter. And then cover salmon on the nude. Don't worry, guys. If you guys missed this live, you will be able to see it on YouTube in a few days. Don't forget to... Can you type with those? I don't know. I'll tell you guys tomorrow. Oh, they're fighting themselves. They're fighting. Eh. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys have not subscribed yet. Mm. And for those of you guys that are new... My YouTube is Zule's Nails. I'm going to watch it on YouTube like I do all the other videos. Thank you, guys. And don't forget to fucking like, please. Because I'm like, ma'am. Sometimes they're like, oh, I'm watching Zule. Like, they'll tag me and then I'll zoom in like, but did you fucking like it, bitch? Did you fucking like it, honey? And they're like, oh, okay, okay. Let me go like. Like, I know you guys get so excited for the video. But don't forget to show some love. Don't forget to show some love. I'm almost to 50K on YouTube. I think once I get to 50K, I'll do like a, a giveaway on my YouTube channel. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Maybe tomorrow. Who knows? I don't work tomorrow. So, oh, shit. I didn't care at the bottom. Oops. I mean, it looks kind of dry. And don't forget to use the discount code before the day ends for your 10% off golf too. And if you guys are watching this on YouTube, sorry, that has already expired. Oh, and if you guys do watch my YouTube channel, um, any codes that you ever hear on these lives are only for the... um. For the lives, so they're not they're not um valid later because I I be getting some notes now like still where they're like free gift and I'm like girl that was like last year <laughs> I'm like that's last year we're not getting no free gifts right now but I'll let you guys know when we do again. All right, good night everyone. Sweet dreams. The code is golf golf two golf. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Sweet dreams, everyone. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Bye. 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 Pero bye. Bye. Look. Feel. Feel. Feel, feel, feel. Look at that top coat, though, honey. Look at that fucking top coat. Bish, bish, bish. Oh, crrr.
All right, bye. Zuleo. Una noche más y copas de más. Tú no me dejas en paz. De mi mente no te.